Hello, good evening, and a welcome to the virtual Racers Club. And we are here with a special treat this evening. This is what it's all about. This is what it builds to. This is an endurance and event. A two and a half hour race. These poor boys have got to hold that bladder for two hours and 30 minutes whilst they race around a very fast course, the Daytona road course or something. And uh, yes, we had qualifying last week. We streamed it live. If you don't know it, that's your problem. But I will try and uh, tell you the grid. Someone has a uh, pat, someone. <laughs> like it's a secret. Someone secretly sent me the grid order. So, uh, the race info and uh, regulations, if you need it, it's Taytona Road Course, sorry. And uh, the race is going to be held at late morning with the time movement at times 10. I still haven't thought of a decent word to... to, to continuation of time the time sped up by 10 so hopefully we'll see a bit of uh, darkness come the end of the race and then uh, we have the race is going to be 99 laps with the fastest first rolling start free choice of tires but with the racing soft racing medium and racing hard the tires are set at times two and the fuel is set at times two with refill at five liters a second Gee, man, that's fast. That's real fast. Gee, that's real fast. So, the grid. And then, oh, well, I want to try and send someone a message. We've got nine minutes, so... I can't do two things at once, it seems. I can't type and uh, talk. We've been looking at Bandit going around. He's pole sitter, I know that much. And I still can't talk and uh, type at the same time. I wonder if I can hum and type. I'll try that next time. And so Pat sent me the grid order. Here we go, he sent me a lot of things. It's the Virtual Racers Club 2023 Rolex 2.5 at Daytona. Multi-class endurance race, number 9, January the 13th and 20th. Daytona International Speedway, road course, Daytona Beach, Florida. Lap length, 3.56 miles, with race distance, 99 laps. Now, I've asked him to do something, but I've not looked at the, the screen. So, that wouldn't be clever. If he's actually... He has. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a quick chat with... Baza, Koi Karp, Ensign Ewart. I think it's in, in there. A few group now. Just join, shall we? Yeah, I thought I'd have a quick chat with him. So, the... What, you're flying? There you go, they're all chatting away, aren't they? I don't oh, know if they're man. on. There you go, boys. There's your special treat for you. Hello, boys. How are we all feeling? <laughs> no, Marvellous. No. Bazza. <laughs> Beefcake. Hey. It's all right, Daz has, your mate Daz has sent me some pri PM, he's private messaged me today with some more. I'm going to break out for the two and a half hour race. It's not just me, Bazza, that's coming up with these names, trust me. Pat's, Pat's a bad one for it. Because there's so much stuff rise with Baz. It is. He's not, really? he's not on air, I don't think. Is he not? No. I so to be well, fair, I didn't warn them. I just no, I didn't like, know I was going to do it. I was a treat coming, guys. Uh, so I, go, oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> I, I really didn't know it was going to happen myself. I just thought, well, I've got to quickly chat with someone because I said I possibly would, and I thought, oh, the easiest one is I know there's a few gather in one place, like a herd. Although I can only, I think Skyjack is the only one chatting. Everyone's suddenly gone oh, stomp. Yeah, whoop, God, I'm not speaking now. Right, no, I'll do a no. quick run through of the uh, of what I think. Oh, it, Pat sent me Talaran's on pole, isn't he? I don't know I if he sent it, it me. In, I don't know if he sent me. I thought it was meant to be the the grid order. 
But he's put Pat Psycho at the top of the list, so I'm not sure. No clue. I didn't. No, because he's put himself at the top of the list of the Group 3s as well. Oh, bugger. How do I find out the grid? I don't know. I'm Uh, sure. Actually, saying that, it'll be in the. Uh, I would have been on the right hand side when Homesick sets the grid. Ah. Uh, you know the ladder in the lobby? Yeah. That's where it would be. No. I don't know. No, you should just. You're on a PS4 or 5, I can't remember. There should be a share voice settings in um, the. This is the build-up voice the to chat. the two and a half hour race. It's <laughs> yeah, great it stuff. Woo-hoo. In the <laughs> chat menu, there should be a, an option to share your voice on there. There's a, a oh, he might have sent me the grid early. He sent me the grid earlier. I looked at the wrong one. I looked at uh, an update. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> so Talarand is on pole in his Mazda. Uh, then we've got the Psycho in second alongside him. In third, we've got Daz. Then fourth, we've got Ensign Ewart. Hello, Ensign. Uh, then in fifth, we've got the Bazinator, Beefy Baz, Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a new one I picked up today. I'm not telling you who gave it me. Uh, P6 is um, Racer Brown. He's come in late, hasn't he? Did he just fancy yeah, it on last, a late whim, or did he uh, last always plan? Up. Yeah, yeah All right. last minute sign up. Oof, no practice then. Uh, then he don't on. need it. He don't need practice. No, he doesn't, does he? Really? I don't know what the two slots are at the end. Oh, I, oh, home. <laughs> yeah, we've moved on. It's Bandit. He's shortened <laughs> Bandit to BND, and I was like, "What's Bund?" So Bandit, Bandit. on pole. He pulled that out of the ad, didn't he? I'll oh, bless him. Yeah. Homesick yeah, Alien well in too. second in the Ford. Then we've got Jim. Oh, God, I've lost right through third, sorry. Homesick in second. I'm making right hash of this. I'm thinking of you guys. Uh, Jokus <laughs> is in uh, fourth. Pat, fifth. NDX. Noxie, sorry. Noxie in sixth. Pat, I'm going to brain you, man. Skyjacker in seventh. I should have read this beforehand. C-R-E, Cray. Mr. C. Reese. C. Reese, that's yeah. it. Uh, and Groot at the back. Look, <laughs> <laughs> how are you guys doing anyway? I'm going to get off and let you all get your race ready. Uh, so I just wanted just, to quickly say hello. Uh, just a quick question. Can you hear me now on the stream? Because I think I, I finally managed it. You are on the stream. Bazza, that's Bazza, that's Beefcake, that's the Barry R. This is the one and the only Barry Oval Twins. Yes, to all the world, nice to join. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Well, good luck, boys. I'm going to let you get yeah, your, your race heads on, and I'm going to leave the party and get on with this stream. All right, boys? Good luck to one and all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Right, let's get back to serious business, shall we? Looking at cars going fast around the track. Yeah, that was a bit haphazard. I, I had an imagination that I was going to get on earlier. I was going to talk to individual people. I was going to have a chat with, well, Pulse a Bandit. I would see, of course, I didn't message anyone. I didn't know whether or not to sling out the, the uh, message of, um, have you got a microphone? Would you want to come on and talk? So I just thought I'd surprise people. And I knew Skyjackers crew had something going on. So I bopped in to see them. Right then, here we go. Oh, God, loads of chat. How can I keep up with this? Uh, good evening, young man, says Koi Carp. Pat saying, hiya, good evening. Mama Home 6 saying, evening thingy. Hope you've got a drinks and snack tray ready for this mammoth race. I had two burgers just before coming on air. That's why we didn't do the early start, because I was having a Big Mac and a quarter pounder with cheese. I was staying on target, you know, USA. Uh, Skyjacket saying, good evening, sir. But we've already spoken to him. Racer Brown saying, hello, my G. And uh, Racer Brown saying, can't hear him. I know, useless, aren't they? Pat saying, if Baz is talking, we can't hear him. I know, it's useless. Pat saying, it's because 
poles on the inside here. Yeah, no, I looked at the wrong bit. I, I, I sent you sent me the update of everyone's info, didn't you? I, I was looking at that one and not the actual grid. That's not your fault, Pat. It's mine. Although your initials threw me off a little bit, but it's probably because I should have looked at it beforehand. We're going to be racing any minute so soon. Let me catch up with the chat. Uh, Racer Brown saying no practice. Oh yes, I need practice. Mama Sykes is in the house saying hello all. Racer Brown saying yes. Pat saying it's not meant to be difficult to understand. I oh, know, I'm so sorry, Pat. I haven't done it justice. Uh, ping me an invite during the race and I'll chat for a bit during the race if you want. Says Skyjacker. Well, that's a, now I wouldn't bother. During the race, it's, it's your race. I'll chat to you afterwards when you're effing and blinding. And uh, Koi saying I could hear Baz. Yeah, well, you were in the room, not talking. Right then, so let's have a look. There's Skyjacker going around. He's in a Corvette. Right, let's try and get this grid back together because I've, I've lost, I've lost track. Where is Talleyrand? Talleyrand is the pole sitter. Then uh, we've got Matt Psycho. Sorry, it gets dizzy, in, doesn't it? Matt Psycho's in the pits as well. They're all going for their last minute wee. Uh, Daz, there we go. Oh, it's starting. He's starting, people. So there you go. Oh, I could have just waited, gonna because oh, it's going to put me in the bloody car. Right, let's see what happens. But Talleyrand is your pole sitter with Matt Psycho in second. Daz third in the green and white one. Oh, maybe he isn't going to put me in as soon as the countdown starts. Couldn't put me in the car now and then I could quickly get out before it comes a, a, a proper. And there we go, they're off. And Talleyrand is leading the way from Matt Psycho into that heavy braking zone in the front corner, first corner. Daz just behind, but it's Matt Psycho and Talleyrand tearing away at the moment with Daz in a solid third, Baza in a fourth. There's some action there, Racer Brown on Big Dan. Big Dan having a moment, having a huge moment. Then we've got Bandit on pole for the Group 3 cars and he still can see those Group C cars and he's thinking, go on boys, get move on, I've got to get on. And then we've got Homesick Alien in second in the Ford Mustang. Then we've got Jim in his Ford Mustang. Then we've got Jokers in the Viper. Then we've got Pat in his Corvette with Noxie. Oh, that's cool, man. I like that. Noxie must have missed out qualifying, so I don't remember. Oh, no, we didn't see Noxie's car, did we? Yeah, the livery didn't show up. It's showing up now, though. Beautiful. See Reese in his uh, Ford Mustang. And he's got Pat. And Skyjacker hounded him. No Skyjacker already with Groot down there. Old chums racing again. Beautiful stuff. Both of them, I think, in the Corvette. And uh, then we have Pat just on the, the rear of them. Talleyrand's pulled out a second on Matt Psycho so far. With Daz for, dropping back 1.7 seconds on Matt Psycho. Baza a further second. They've all sp spaced out a second or so. Racer Brown and Big Dan duking it out further down. Big Dan... He's gone different. He's in the, the uh, Porsche. No, Racer Brown's in the Porsche, sorry. Big Dan's in the Nissan. Of course he is. And there we see Racer Brown in uh, the Porsche. As he tries to find his way around uh, the track. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but Big Dan found the end, back end of Racer Brown. I think Racer Brown might have overbraked in the corner, possibly. Big Dan come across him, and kaboom. And then we got Bandit still holding that race win, race winning position. The race lead, sorry. Ahead of home, a sick alien Jokus there in uh, third place. That's great, isn't it? Lovely little uh, podium for the Dodge Viper. Uh, Jim in fourth with Noxie ahead of Skyjacker Groot so they've both got themselves past Ceres who is five seconds ahead of Pat Pat having some issues oh bit of damage on the Chevy of Pat's there he's trying to shake it off and he started on the racing soft I haven't really looked at the tyres I've done a disservice to the whole build up with uh, Fanny Arson around in the rooms isn't it I do apologise my lieges but Talleyrand has just uh, He's caning it, man. He's absolutely caning it. He's two seconds now ahead. Oh, it must have come up as Dan because it's, it's Ensign Ewer. I saw Dan and thought Koi Kart was in the room as well. Dope. Look at me. See, I don't even know who's in the race, Koi. So Talleran then 
leads the way from Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho started on the medium tyres, and that may be a, a bit telling sign of why uh, Talarand is pulling away so easily from uh, Matt Psycho. Daz also on those medium tyres. Barry twins as Barry twins changes his name to Bazza and his nickname to Barry and then I'll go go back to calling him Barry twins what his original name was yeah I'm awkward like that so Bazza he's uh he started on the soft so he, he's not too far behind Daz as you can see ahead and Daz on those medium tires he's never going to get any faster where Baz probably will as soon as those tires bed in lovely it's a lovely lap around Daytona I've got to say it's a lovely course as he comes on to the oval par for the last sector. We'll see the bus stop at the end of this straight. So Abaza then chasing down Daz, only nine tenths behind. I'm not sure what the pull on toe is here for a draft, but I don't think it's as strong as Sport. End to the bus stop. Look at that immense pace. And he caught it just at the end there. I thought he's lost the car, but he's lost a bit of time on the Daz now so a, ra a racer brown then has got himself ahead of uh, big dan in his nissan and uh, racer brown on his way we saw that before though he's on the hard tire he started on the hard tire with big dan on the soft big dan says the nissan is a handful it really is and it's going to be uh, an adventure for him in this race Bandit, 2.5 seconds ahead of Homesick Alien in his Ford, in it, and he's uh, he's doing the job needed to do. He's on the racing soft tyres, where Homesick Alien also on the racing soft tyres. Groot is up to third already. Groot showing immense pace in the Chevy, already up into third place and chasing down the leaders. Beware. Jimbo in fourth now in his Ford Mustang he's got himself ahead of Noxie I think Noxie was Noxie ahead of Jim I'm not sure there was someone ahead of Jim oh it was Jokers oh no Jokers slipping down behind C. Reese and Jokers obviously making a small mistake out there and losing a, a handful of time and places Skyjacker then puts him up into fuck sixth place it's a struggle it's not. You've just got to take six off because of the six um, C cars. And I've only just thought of that. How foolish. How foolish do I feel? So Skyjacker, there he goes. He's uh, behind Noxie at the moment. And Jim. He's uh, picking his moment. He's on the racing softs. He's uh, using his fuel fairly. Now, the rules of this, of all our endurance uh, races, the, the lower class car has right of way. They choose their racing line and uh, is down to the Group C cars to find their own way past cleanly. That doesn't mean just bang the Group C, uh, Group 3 car out of the way. It means finding a wise and uh, clever place to overtake. So, Groot chasing down we've got an early pit stop racer brown has uh, uh, thought better of those racing hearts he's thought no they are pointless he's come in he's going to change them to something a bit faster talaran then seven seconds and he's getting those soft tires to good use at the moment and uh, matt psycho playing the longer game he's not too concerned about the gapage between himself and talaran He's on the harder tyre, this racing medium tyre should be able to go a lot longer into this race. Oh, struggles with the bus stop there. And uh, Daz, he's also on those racing medium tyres, planning to go longer. And Baza, he's, he's not gained or lost since we last saw him in fourth place, chasing down a Daz, Daz and Baz together forever and never apart around here at Daytona into the braking zone for turn one trying to find a couple of tents on Daz who is ahead of him Daz though looked very strong in qualifying he's got good pace he's using the medium tires and he's holding ground with the Baz at the moment 
And uh, Big Dan, some 15 seconds down the road, had a bit of a coming together with Racer Brown, but I don't think that's all of the reasons he's down. 15 seconds uh, down on uh, Baz. I think he's had his... Oh, he's been all right, though, since he's been on his own. Without Racer Brown's hindrance, he's been doing steady 33s and trying uh, to claw his way back into this race. Racer Brown pitted. He's gone for medium tyres. Didn't bother any fuel. And he's fine in his feet. He's done no testing. And he's just trying to find a swing. So Bandit now four seconds ahead of Homesick Alien. Fuel is the same and Bandit is, uh, is in the groove. Bandit has got... Oh, Noxie's out. Noxie's out. Hopefully that was connection. But Noxie we saw was ahead of Skyjacker behind Jim. And now we see Talarand is coming across the group three cars. Oof. Trying to find a way past anywhere he can. And he's uh, past Jim, nearly. He's some eight seconds now ahead of uh, Matt Psycho. Who, who would have thought the soft tyres would have given him this much of advantage? I don't know how long a pit stop takes until we take a pit stop. Now he's found Groot on the road as Talarand. As he tries to circumnavigate his way past Groot, he's gone high, he's gone high, and he's got through, and it won't be long until he sees the back of Homesick Alien. There he goes, it was a flash. It was a wee flash in the distance. So just Bandit left on the road now ahead of him, and then he's got a nice clean road. So go and put some more purples in if he wishes to do so. Here he comes. Round uh, the long left-hander. Group fit free car staying low. Bandit staying low. And Talarand clears the field. Super stuff. So Talarand nine seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. Should probably be in the thick of it with these... Uh, Group 3 cars now, he is, he's found Groot on the road, Daz also trying to get by, a couple of Group 3s and that's helped the Baz close the gap on Daz, Barry, oh, Daz coming across, Jim I believe that is, yeah 66, and Baz are trying to get by without causing too much effect, because he's chasing Daz, he's in a race, he knows he's in a race, he can see the car ahead and he saw how much he, he managed to claw back and there's more Group 3 cars ahead that might help Baza out along the way and just by then, Big Dan 17 seconds behind him now I think the, the race Big Dan's in is with Racer Brown yeah, as we see Baz come off of uh, the in a course or whatever yeah I suppose in infield is the word I'm looking for and back onto the oval he sees them oh, that was the Chevy of Groot Mustang of uh, Homesick and that's a beautiful place to, to catch those Group 3 cars on the long straight so as it stands uh, Baz and Daz uh, are in a, a, a lock still a stalemate no one's either losing or gaining on each other with Big Dan getting a 32 that last time around though finding some pace in the Nissan as the fuel comes down he's taking the rich energy sponsorship I think he's got that on the Subaru as well on Thursday evenings so he's staying loyal to uh, the rich energy group bloke's got a wacky beard that he did have on Drive to Survive. A race of brown in the Porsche shell. He's uh, chasing the, the big Dan down, but it's a big job in these cars. They're very swift. So Bandit 
Still leading five seconds. Groot, Groot's caught home to Galien and has got by. And Groot, unstoppable at the moment from the back of the grid. He is absolutely flying. He has done a thousand, uh, 1,145 miles in that Chevy. So he knows his car. He knows it well. Bandit, five seconds. He's got a 44.6 was Bandit's best time. Groot, a 44.7. So still a little slower than Bandit. Bandit could just maintain that distance ahead. Home sick alien slipping into the 46ers. Shouldn't be the tyres. I wouldn't think. Maybe it was the Group C cars coming by. He does look like he's catching back up with the Chevy. And uh, maybe looking for a bit of a tow. Maybe Home Six looking to gain an advantage through fuel. So far though, as flicking through, they all look similar fuel loads. I have no idea what their strategies are going to be and I'm assuming that they possibly don't know what their strategies are going to be. Jokus is uh, back up into fifth, I think. I'll have a look in a minute. Noxie in the chat saying, well, that didn't last long. Oh, Noxie, man, I don't know what it is. GT7 is not a friend of yours because sport, I never really remember you having issues in sport, so I don't know what the hell is um, SUP with GT7 and they're homesick closing in on Groot no one behind to worry about Jim seven seconds down the road so homesick alien can put all his efforts into the Chevy ahead of him and they are very close I want to look further down the field see Reese is up there now so they're having a right battle oh crap uh, yeah see Reese and Jokus on track there very tight oh bit touchy very touchy there I'm not sure people will be impressed it's not the way we like to do it here at the virtual racers club and, uh, yeah you can't can't be doing that to people so Jokus gets underway imagine He's going to have to save his replay if he wants to uh, have that one looked at. And he's got every right to, from what I saw at the end. I don't know where it began, but I saw where it ended. It didn't look pretty. Skyjacker catching up the Dodge Viper as the Dodge recovers from its little uh, little thing with C. Reese. We've got Pat, seven and a half seconds, still in this race, that's nothing. In a, a two and a half hour race, he's on lap nine of 99. Now, he won't see all 99 of them. I think already the, 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 the Group C's have put a lap on him, so that's 98 laps he's going to be doing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a long race. Anything can happen. And uh, Skyjacker coming across, Jokus getting the toe, looking to get the move done before the first corner into the braking zone. It's going to be very tight and it looks like Jokus has lost that spot and Skyjacker has nipped one up the inside of the Viper and the next man on his uh, list will be C. Arise with uh, Jimbo sitting in fourth. Homesick there, getting a lap put on him by Eraser Brown. And he's very close to Groot. These two are having a lovely, tidy race out there. Bandit, six and a half seconds. So he's pulling away from second and third. It was five seconds last time we saw. And Bandit looks like he's on for a very good result here. Not going to speak too soon, but it's looking tidy for the group three leader at the moment the pole sitter and leader he's got great pace in that car Groot he's done a 46 of late I'm not sure if it's the group C cars that are causing the uh, fluctuation in lap times but homesick alien less than a second behind Groot fuel half a tank for Groot nearly uh, his tyres are all at different wear levels but Anywhere up to a third to a half on his uh, front left. Homesick Alien, bit better tyre wear, similar fuel. Jim, a little worse than Homesick, a little better than Groot's. He's on half a tank of fuel. Skyjacker, 
we'd say they're group levels aren't we so it looks like the uh, Chevy does tear its tires up a little more than the focus the focus the, the Mustang <laughs> and uh, Jokus oh the Dodge not friendly to its tires whatsoever and you can see the cars looking like it's going to start squirming in the corner C Reese has ended up behind them and we missed that action I apologize that would be my fault Pat eight seconds and still I would say firmly in this race look you can see him around the other you only ask around that corner and you'll see him he's being caught by oh Matt Psycho I think that is yeah Matt Psycho 15 seconds adrift of Talleyrand but the Talleyrand does look like he's starting to get to the end of the life cycle of those soft tires especially on the left hand side of his car Matt Psycho oh tidy the mediums are still fresh he did a 130.5 last with Talleyrand doing a 30.3 so the crossover times are getting very close together for Matt Psycho to start now hauling in Talleyrand and Talleyrand's got to make the call when he wants to pit 14 laps half a tank of fuel I mean he could pit just put the uh, softs on and no fuel and go for another stint and try and stay on the whole race there's no rule about what tyre they use as long as uh, they're, they're free choice I would say well the rules say not just me <coughs> excuse me Binko saying evening thingy can't watch the race but listening to it all so enjoying the outstanding commentary it's always good it's always good oh it's always good luck chaps as always oh as always sorry man I only brought my glasses out my work bag so I am I'm, I'm reading I'm making the words up as I go along Talleran then it's come across what's that group already doesn't take long does it for these uh, Group C cars to make their way around and I must say I thought we'd see more offs more spins from the Group 3 cars they've been uh, well behaved Daz looking after those tyres lovely isn't he they're going to use that whole tank up where I think the likes of Baz and Talleyrand are going to be in in the next few laps as they feel those tyres go away from them and they want the grip Big Dan has brought it in. His tyres have become intolerable. Whereas Race Brown's medium sitting nicely. He's finding a little pace. He's not got the 130s going on like the boys ahead of him. Although, I mean, Baz is in the 32s now. Daz is in the 32s last time around. Matt Psycho, 31s with a 30 to boot. And Talleyrand, he's back into the 30. Oh, I thought he'd done a 30. Yeah, he's in the 30s, 31.6 last time around. 16 seconds. He's uh, continuing on, lap 15. Groot's pitted as well. So the, the Group C cars, Talleyrand, yet to pit. Matt Psycho not pitting also, but he's on the mediums, unlikely to. But I think we're in that window of the soft runners. Baz has elected to go around again with those tyres. I mean, there is still grip with those tyres. He got a 32.7, so he's still got the pace. He's not lost sight of Daz, but the tyres, they, they fall off a cliff, though. That's the problem. When they do hit all red, I think they lose all pace whatsoever. Race Brown, his mediums are the freshest on there. Well, I'd say that, but Big Dan now has put himself a set of lovely softs on. No fuel, just pit in. And it loses 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Now, Talleyrand is nearly 20 seconds ahead. He's up to 18 seconds, so he, he could. He, he could get a pit stop in and come out just behind Matt Psycho on a fresh set of softs. So Talleyrand sitting pretty there. If his pit stop goes all well and he doesn't put any fuel in, looking at about 20 seconds, and he's 18 seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. That's would uh, truly be very interesting. I don't think there's much Matt Psycho could do to defend if Talleyrand was on a set of softs, but he's going around again. He's 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 not even considering a pit stop. He's dragging out these tyres for as long as he can, but I do believe on those soft tyres, it's the tyres that are going to dictate the pit stop, not the fuel. And Matt Psycho, it might be the fuel. Look at him, chipping away at that tyres and hardly using them. 
Ferrari is 18 seconds behind the leader. Daz, nearly two seconds now. That's the biggest distance we've seen between Barry and uh, Daz. And uh, it could be the Group 3 cars, you see. And we've had movement in the Group 3 cars. We'll get down to him. Racer Brown up into fifth with Big Dan and making his pit stop. Ooh, but there is Nissan looking like it wants to murder him. And is that Talleyrand putting a lap on Big Dan? Wow. Sorry, Big Dan. I don't mean wow. I just mean... He, well, he hasn't pitted and you have, so you've got to remember that. Bandit still leading by eight seconds. Bandit. Shocker. It's great stuff. Homesick alien. Sitting in second. He was fighting with Groot, but Groot's tyres were looking pretty done. And he has pitted. Jim's up into third. Seems to be doing well with the tyres, is there, Jim. Ceres is in fourth. And it's the Mustang, it seems, that's looking after them tyres a lot better than the Chevys. And he's, uh, he's put racing softs on as Groot. And he's just put a half a tank's worth of fuel in. I don't know how much they have when they're growing around. Oh, well, no, yeah, a quarter. So, Groot coming across. Ceres trying to find his way by. Side by side on the banking. It's a delicious sight to see. And there's the Chevy getting itself past uh, the Ford Mustang. Delicious, cracking stuff. I imagine tyres were a lot to do with that. The leader is in. The leader has come in. And I said he'd drop out behind uh, Matt Psycho only by a couple of seconds. And let us see how much of a profit I am. Eight seconds. That was very wrong, wasn't I? His, his pit stop was longer. Oh, he fueled. He fueled. He did fuel. So, you know, I could have been right. Bazza also bringing those softs in. And so Matt Psycho, eight seconds in the lead. Half tank fuel. And his tyres looking pretty nifty. They don't look like they're too worn. They're probably just in that nice sweet spot at the moment. Talleyrand, fresh set of softs. He's put three quarters of a tank of fuel in. And uh, we see they were on about a quarter, and he, well, half he has got. But Talarand. Yeah, I think, imagine, he could probably catch up to Matt Psycho in a few laps on this strategy. And he will not want, it will not help him if he, he struggles to get past Matt Psycho, but I don't imagine he would on the soft tyre, it's two totally different strategies, it's very interesting to see, as uh, Matt Psycho goes past the Group 3 car, we didn't even get through all the Group 3 cars because of the pit stop, didn't we so Talleyrand's four seconds ahead of Daz who also hasn't pitted, Barry did pit, back out, he's 32 seconds behind Daz didn't put as much fuel in as Talleyrand, so He's, uh, he's gone for another set of soft tyres. Racer Brown on those mediums, only six and a half seconds behind Barry. So Racer Brown has pulled a big chunk of time back in because he was a good sort of 18 seconds behind those runners before his pit stop. And uh, yeah, six seconds, that's, uh, that's a big feat. Great drive from uh, Racer Brown so far. Big Dan in his Nissan, not loving it. I'm not sure, he probably is, but he's uh, he's lost touch. Oh, he lost that corner and he lost touch of uh, Racer Brown. Now he's just driving, getting, getting used to, getting, enjoying the challenge of two and a half hours. And uh, although we've still got two hours left of this race, we're not even at 30 minutes yet, so can't write anything off 28 seconds it, it, it could happen someone could have a huge off you never know bandit eight seconds ahead of home Alien and his tires are virtually spent there's not much left on that ford mustang home Alien. also similar a bit more fuel than bandit but no i don't think there's a uh, much there he's just done his fastest lap i say there's not much meat left but Homesick Alien on his previous lap has done his fastest to 45.4. Bandit a 45.5 last time around. Jim, 
And these uh, Mustangs can just keep on going, can't they? Groot, he's nine seconds behind Jim. And he's six seconds ahead of C. Reese, who also has not pitted yet. Skyjacker has pitted. Ooh, Matt Psycho. Going by Skyjacker. Skyjacker trying to come back at Matt Psycho. And why not? <laughs> and then he waves goodbye to Matt Psycho. And uh, Skyjacker having a bit of fun. He's 22 seconds. Oh, he's pitted. That's why he's 22 seconds behind uh, C. Reese. He's 10 seconds ahead of Jokers who went to the medium tyre that last time around. And uh, Pat in 14th. Oh, still only seven seconds and behind. He's pitted, I believe, put some new tyres on. So is Jokers, and Jokers on the medium tyres. The leader of the group threes are in. Bandits come in. Homesick stayed out. Homesick carried on. Jim's also carried on, and Groot's after his pit stop is now up into third place bandit comes out of the pits behind Groot on a set of brand new softs three quarters of a tank of fuel and it's all down oh does that mean he's lost position to Groot no because Groot got less fuel on so Groot has got less fuel on than bandit and that fuel in the tank is better than in the pits so they say do they say or did I just make that up there's motion detectors at the front door. God, living in the future scares me. Um, so Homesick Aliens, the leader of the Group 3 cars at the moment in his Ford Mustang. But he's on the verge. He's got a pit soon. He's getting the fastest laps out of the car that he, he has done so far in this race. I imagine he doesn't want a pit. He probably feels he's got a good swing going on here. And, uh, yeah, the, 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 he doesn't need much grip, it seems. Jim also. Oh, Jim's got a flashing uh, fuel light, though. So, definitely, he's, we're going to see him enter the pits in the next lap or so. We're just coming up to the lap entrance. Will it be this one, or is he going to go around again? No, he decides this is the time, and so does Homesick Alien. So, uh, the rest of the field is pitting. Is Groot going to be leading this race? Five seconds ahead of Bandit but less fuel than Bandit. And uh, that's, uh, that's the aim for Homesick and Jim, I'm sure, is Bandit. Groot goes into the lead of the Group 3 cars in his uh, Corvette. And Bandit also up into second place. Reese grabs, he doesn't go in the pit, so see Reese grabs that third spot for now as Homesick Alien and Jim are getting serviced in the pit lane and skyjacker continues on i think he might be no he's going to go by him no he's going he has gone by him sorry no he hasn't of homesick homesick's got out sorry totally lost all of that no skyjacker didn't even get in front of jim he nearly got in front of jim so skyjacker he's had a pit stop jim's just come out of his pit stop filled the car to the brim the brimmest of brims that it can be put a set of softs on and he's off out again for another 18 laps with skyjacker the corvettes they can't do the long stint they kill the tires so the corvettes very fast that they are have to keep nipping into the pits put new boots on jim then that's very close darn close between himself and skyjacker homesick alien 3.3 seconds behind Reese. Reese on those old tyres. You can't imagine he's going to be able to put up much of a fight as soon as the alien reaches him. Bandit chasing down Groot. He's not catching him any. And Groot is leading this race. Great drive from Groot so far. And Bandit must be uh, wondering how that happened. Up in uh, the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Up in the Group C's, Matt Psycho leads the way. Awesome stuff from uh, Matt Psycho. With Talarand only four seconds now. What was it, eight seconds when he came out of the pits? He's got it, he's halved it down to four seconds, just under four seconds. With one fast lap after and the next. Chasing down uh, Matt Psycho's medium tyres now of uh, the, the front left. is definitely over halfway through its life cycle. And his fuel nearly down to a quarter. Still maintaining 30s and 31s, though, is Matt Psycho. 
three seconds from him, uh, Talaran now. And uh, yeah, I think Masago is just uh, going to have to live with the fact that Talaran is on a good strategy. Is it going to be the better strategy? We will not know until it all washes out in two hours' time. Daz, meanwhile, 13 seconds behind Talaran. His medium tyres are in a better state, but it must be said, than um, Matt Psycho's. These are all, the top three, I mean, are all in the Mazda. The only different, the only cars that are different is uh, Racer Brown. He's in the Porsche. And Ensignor is in the Nissan. So Daz, 13 seconds are behind Talleyrand. Talleyrand's just posted the fastest lap of the race. And it's two seconds now from himself and uh, Matt Psycho. Looking back now from Matt Psycho's car, we can see Talleyrand starting to close in on our rear dairy air. And uh, Talleyrand taking no prisoners in his uh, Mazda at the moment as they get on the embankment and around the original oval, heading towards a bus stop. Racer Brown into the pits for fuel. His tyres looked delicious last time we saw them. So I can't imagine it's for that. As we make our way through the bus stop. Time's less than a second. Ooh, Talleyrand putting the wheel on the grass there. Had a bit of a wobble and that's given Matt Psycho a little bit of breathing space. Beautiful sunny sky, blue skies here at Florida. And it's been an all expenses paid for me. It's been beautiful. I wish they put these uh, nice places on more often. Is that it? Trackside. So uh, Matt Psycho then. Another lap survived, you've got to say. Someone's coming out of the pits. That will be Racer Brown. Oh my word, Racer Brown's gone straight on. And uh, I, I didn't see the Talleyrand. It, look, it looked awkward himself and Talleyrand I don't think he might there might have been a bit of confusion when he came back on track but Racer Brown going straight on there and Big Dan is ahead of Racer Brown again we will look at that and that looks like Big Dan who we've just gone past there so I think Big Dan pulling over for the big dogs Matt Psycho and Talleyrand the, the clash of the titans and uh, I, I got on the car looking backwards thinking this was going to be done rather rapidly but Matt Psycho has done an amazing job staying ahead of Talleyrand so far. Three tenths now though, Talleyrand's going in for the kill and he's doing it for the thrill. And, uh, Matt Psycho, two tenths, five tenths, he's pulled a bit of time out in the bus stop. His tyres though getting older and older every lap around and uh, Talleyrand Looking eager to pounce anytime soon, boys. I want to go and look how it's and you and I mean it's you know, Big Dan and Racer Brown are getting on as uh, they go by Pat, I believe that is. And they're on lap 25 of 99. So imagine a quarter of the way through. Is that right? 36 minutes isn't a quarter, is it? I would say not. Maybe they're going too fast. <laughs> so, oh, and Talleyrand now looking for an opportunity. And uh, Matt Psycho closing that damn, damn door, saying that's not, that's not where you're going. Matt Psycho racing is in his jeans. He cannot help but race, even though it's a lost cause with the tyres that he's got and the strategy that Talleyrand is on. It's inevitable. It's just a when rather than if. And there he goes again to try and defend the spot. Talleyrand having a very close look. Inspection of his exhaust pipes into the braking zone of the bus stop. Still no joy there for Talleyrand. Uh, this is a tough battle 
between these two competitors. And uh, Talleyrand behind Masaiko having a very close look. And Racer Brown's ahead of Big Dan again. Darn it. I was going to go back and look at them, but these two have made a real meal. Real meal of this. Well, it was going to be a simple pass by because they're on different strategies. And this is what I was talking about, though. This is, this is if Matt Psycho can hold up um, Talleyrand for a few laps, it's, 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 it works. Because now Talleyrand should be having to build up a buffer for his next pit stop. Because obviously Matt Psycho is going to be doing a lot less pit stops than Talleyrand. As they come up to the Group 3 cars, Talleyrand has a C. Look up the inside of the Mazda. Oh, God, I had it as well. And they're side by side in the Group 3 cars in front. The Group 3 car, Skyjacker, he calls the line. Those guys have got to find their way by, and they've got to try and do it patiently. They're back on the oval now, and they're through. Unbelievable stuff. And uh, again, Talleyrand trying to find a way past. And each lap, he's stuck behind Matt Psycho. It's in Matt Psycho's favour. So Talleyrand, he, he, he needs to build a buffer. And he's not... Here he goes. He goes for the move into the breaking zone. It's side by side. And Matt Psycho misses the corner. But I, I don't know. I don't think there's any call in that one. And Talleyrand through. And away he goes. Matt Psycho. He did his job the best he could. It was an impossible job on an old set of tyres to try and keep the master behind him for as long as he possibly could. And uh, yeah, a, a few laps he got Talleran stuck there, snagged up behind him. And now Talleran opening light because he was doing 29s on the reg and then it dropped down into the 31. So job done for Matt Psycho. I imagine he would have liked to have kept him behind him for a bit longer. But the advantage with those soft, fresh, soft tyres was just too steep. Daz, on the other hand, 18 seconds behind Matt Psycho. Ooh, it looks like he's struggling with a bit of grip in that car. Although there's still some there on the tyres. With GT7, it's not really. Um, it's not really until all of the white is gone that the tyres really do drop off. So Big Dan's in the pits. Bazza, 25 seconds behind uh, Daz. But Daz yet to make that pit stop. Daz will be right in Barry's zone when he uh, makes his pit stop. What did we say it was? It's about 20 to 20 to 30 seconds, depending on fuel. So 20 seconds with no. Baz, what are you doing? Parking it. Having a tea break. Where is he going? He's underway again. With a racer brown. Sitting in fifth, he's nearly a minute away from Baz. But as we saw, Baz parking it. You can't do that too often. And Racer Brown getting his fastest lap so far out of the race with a 131.211. He's opted for a set of soft tyres this stint. And the longer Racer Brown goes round, the more uh, acquainted to the track and the car he's going to get, the faster he's going to get, the more of a threat to the boys ahead of him. So, uh, watch out, guys. Race Brown is starting to find his wheels. Big Dan, we saw briefly, he, he was ahead of Racer Brown. I say briefly, he's been ahead of Racer Brown for ages. But he's been into the pits, put a set of mediums on, topped up right to the top. And he's going for a long stint as the sun looks to be drawing long. In the background there, the shadows are growing. It seems like we're saying uh, goodbye to the day. And, uh, welcome to the evening. Party night. Party time. Group still leading, but he's on the verge, the threshold of a pit stop at any time soon. And uh, Bandit, only four seconds behind him. His tyres still look fresh. Still got half a tank of fuel on board. And he will take retake the lead. Homesick Aliens on 14 seconds now behind Bandit. And he cannot live with Bandit's pace. It's amazing. So Homesick Alien, his race, I believe, is with Groot today. Possibly Groot pitting, having to pit more often than the Mustang. Jim also looking to dice and uh, ruin Groot's day. Jokus 
It's someone's pit, isn't it? It's group. Yeah, because I said his fuel was getting there. So Bandit takes over the lead for the Group 3 cars. In his uh, Ford Mustang, hasn't put a foot wrong yet so far in this race. He's doing a delicious job as Racer Brown finds him on track. And uh, it's the worst place, although... Oh, lovely for Bandit going nice and wide. Letting Racer Brown through. So Bandit, very uh, gentlemanly. Home Cicalian then 13, 14 seconds behind Bandit. Bandit's got a little less fuel on. So Homesick might be able to use that to his advantage. Groot now leaving the pits. And he's, he's in between the two, I said. Homesick, Alien and Jim. Jim going longer than Groot. Groot will probably pit at the same time as Jim in this next stint. Homesick, Alien then 13 seconds ahead. And it's, uh, it's coming back to the Ford Mustangs now, this race. And the Chevy showing its frail, frailties with those tires and thirst for fuel. Jokers then sitting in a pleasant fourth place in the Viper. We saw him slipping back, but he's uh, he's risen. He, he rose again. And uh, on the medium tires, quarter of a tank of fuel. Jokers out for a cruise, really. 15 seconds behind Jim. There's not much there he can do. 10 seconds ahead of Pat. Pat up ahead of Skyjacker. Skyjacker must have had an issue because I'm sure he was ahead of uh, Jokers unless he's just recently pitted we'll find out when we go and have a look we just wanted to sit on board the Viper for a little bit get a feel for it look at that what a lovely sunset we're being treated to here in Florida and uh, Binko in the chat again saying not put a foot wrong famous last words I know I know I am always weary when I I big you guys up it's always a nerve-wracking moment but jokers then as the Sun gets hazy and, uh, Big Dan puts a lap on jokers Pat then in the Chevy I said you never give up and he hasn't look at him he's stuck in there he's only 10 seconds behind jokers a second ahead of Skyjacker who has recently pitted and that's the Chevy's curse it seems and uh, Reese out there he's gone for a set of hard tires he is going for a mega long stint but he's only getting 148 out of that car and with the rest of the field getting 45s it might be too much I've tried that before thinking clever go on the hard tires and Matt Psycho has used every single ounce of fuel in that car or litre of fuel, should I say. Daz also looks like he's going to have to bring it in. And Talarand, we saw him taking the lead from uh, Matt Psycho earlier. And he's not going to be too far away from a pit stop himself, remember. So Matt Psycho pulling up to his pit crew. Daz following him in. And uh, they get to work on the Mazda. He's going to top up with fuel. And uh, Baz, can he gain anything out of this one then? He's 28 seconds behind Daz. A pit stop's definitely going to be longer than 28 seconds. He's coming around the corner onto the straightaway. And, uh, yeah, I think possibly not ahead of Matt Psycho, obviously, because Matt Psycho and Talarand are in a race of their own today. Oh, Baz has taken it in. Baz has taken it in. I thought he would... Uh, Get a jump on Daz, possibly. Well, Daz is on the medium tyres, but he might come out not about too far behind Daz on a set of softs, and Daz will probably go for another set of mediums. Matt Psycho went for a set of softs and three-quarters of a tank of fuel. So Matt Psycho changing things up. He's gone very late into the race, 47 minutes. As uh, you see, uh, the sun has virtually gone, and the headlights come on here in Daytona. And now it's Talladega Nights, baby. So uh, Daz in third spot. Baz not yet to come out. Racer Brown trying to close down that distance between himself and Baz. And it looks like Baz has taken to a set of mediums. He's going for a long stint in the middle as we draw into the night. Baz going for long. And he's only 14 seconds ahead of Racer Brown. And uh, the rate Racer Brown's going... Baz could be in trouble, especially with a set of mediums. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We've now 
the threat of the brown behind him that medium tyres is exactly what he needs right now I imagine a set of softs would be delicious but race around meanwhile he's uh, pounding out those lap times big Dan he's on the mediums he's going for a long run himself he's a minute behind the brown but he's cracking on in his Nissan. Bandit in the lead of this race, a quarter of a tank of fuel, tyres about half-worn. He is sitting pretty in his fo uh, focus, his Mustang, with Homesick Alien 12 seconds behind him. Now, am I calling it a focus to be annoying on purpose, or am I accidentally calling it a focus? That's what you've got to question yourselves. So, Homesick Alien in the Mustang. Ooh, he's picked up a bit of damage in that Ford Mustang and with his fight against Groot that is not helping his situation whatsoever Groot out there doing short fast stints in the uh, Chevrolet Corvette and he, he'll be aiming well he'll be aiming for the race win we would assume we 28 laps in these uh, little group three cars are but we know the leader is on 33, so already five laps ahead of uh, the Group 3 cars. As we come up to about, not even halfway, what's halfway? Yeah, 45 minutes, isn't it? It's halfway of two and a half hours. No. It's an hour and 15. Yeah, we're not even halfway. Oh, because we did an hour and a half one not that long ago and my brain is struggling to adjust. Okay. So, um, we're looking at homesick and it looks like that is Big Dan in his Nissan. I don't know though, it might not have been. The, 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 the dark, the floodlights are, are confusing me. So Bandit then leads the Mustang in the group three cars ahead of homesick alien Groot in third in his chevy jim in fourth but he's playing the long game with Groot. Groot has to keep popping into the pits and talarand is in talarand is in it's 42 seconds distance between himself and um matt psycho i don't know how aware he is that matt psycho has put the soft tires on He's putting some killer laps in. He's stringing a, uh, an attack together against Talaran. As Talaran now gets to his pit box, they remove the wheels, they place the wheels. Matt Psycho is coming up to the final corner. Now they are fueling up, and it's how much fuel does Talaran need to stay ahead of Matt Psycho? Matt Psycho onto the straightaway, and it looks like Matt Psycho may take the lead. And it's going to be a tough call. Talarand is now just leaving the box. And he's come out onto the track. And Matt Psycho, he, is he, has he? I'm not sure. It's confusing because of the first corner layout. It looks like Talarand is out. Talarand is out on track. Eight seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. So Matt Psycho just couldn't get those killer laps in. To, to take the, the momentum out of Talaran's attack. Talaran's on soft tyres, three quarters of a tank of fuel. As he has been pitting, has been doing about, what, 18 or so laps in between stints. He's seven seconds ahead of Matt Psycho, but now Matt Psycho is on the racing soft tyre. And uh, it's down to all about who can get that Mazda around the fastest. Daz up into, well, he's third place. He's not up into, he's been third place for most of the race. He's 28 seconds behind Matt Psycho, 31 seconds ahead of the Baz. The Baz, he went for medium tyres. He's picked up a bit of damage. And remember, he had race around 14 seconds behind him. That is down to 10 seconds now. Baz with a bit of damage as well. Obviously having a small off and meeting Barry R. The muscles from Brussels, giving it some large as he goes by homesick alien. Oof, I thought the grass kicked him over then. And uh, homesick alien not getting in the way whatsoever. He's running his own race. 14 seconds behind the leader, the flying uh, Dutchman. Some call him Turtle, some call him Bandit. 
today we'll be calling him a winner if he can maintain this for a, another hour and a half and it is exciting stuff out there at the moment home scaling then in second Groot in third 10 seconds behind the alien he's getting well I say alien did a 45 4 last time around Groot doing a 46 4 so he's not really gaining too much on the alien Jim 13 seconds adrift of Groot he's just had a group C car it looked like Matt Psycho going by and uh, Jim making his way around in fourth place Skyjacker back ahead of uh, Reese, who has had to pick he put the hard tyres on didn't he that's going to be a tough day for him although not too bad he's down to a half a tank of fuel already he was doing 48s he's dipped into a 46 and a 47 he's got jokers behind him he's recently pitted he's put soft tires on filled the car up and uh he's 10 seconds ahead of power who obviously has recently pitted as well and this race is always changing and we are full on night time now who's just pitted oh, i missed it bandit the leader has come in and he's back out again behind uh, homesick alien and uh, groot so Bandit, surprising there. I thought he'd have a few laps left in that car yet, but he's opted to make a pit stop here. Lap, well, 31 for him. And he's nine seconds behind Groot. Groot doesn't seem to be chewing the tyres up as much since it's got darker. Maybe uh, the, the cooler track is um, saving the tyres a bit more. Jim is four seconds behind Bandit. He's got a quarter of a tank of fuel. His tyres are about half used. Homesick similar. Quarter of a tank of fuel, half used tyres. Skyjacker, fresh tyres. Not much fuel though. Done just on his fastest lap of the race of 44.9. He's 19 seconds behind Jim. 21 seconds ahead of Reese. Uh, Reese, see Reese who's on uh, the uh, racing hard tyre and he's lost three seconds to Jokers already because I'm sure Jokers was like 10 seconds behind him but Jokers' last two laps haven't been too clever a 2.04 and a 2.05 and they're not sort of lap times he wants to be producing if he wants to catch Skyjacker and uh, see Reese up Pat he did a 1.50 his last time around so yeah maybe it is the track getting colder is catching some of these guys out Talleyrand, solid job at the moment out there in the night. Seven seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. This is how he sees it. Shall we get alongside him? Look at his beautiful helmet. Give him a reach over. So there we go. He's got the shakes. Must need a wee. He has been racing for 56 minutes, so he's probably waiting. For, probably thinking I need a wee. He's just getting purples all the way around. It's delicious as he enters the bus stop. And we've got a Group 3 car just ahead. I guess it's Bandit from behind. Oh, I think it's a Group C car. I'm not sure. Might have been Pat. But Talleyrand. 6.6 .6 seconds, so... Matt Psycho is starting to get the moves on. A 29-1. Very close to his fastest lap, isn't it? 29-1-8-4. His fastest lap so far in the race is a 29.120. And there's Skyjacker, it looked like, coming out of the pits. We said he needed fuel pretty soon. That'll put him behind Ceres and Jokus again. We'll check out that race anytime soon. We we're just enjoying a lap. On board with the leader of the Group C class in this two and a half hour race. And uh, my word, it has been a very interesting indeed with the two different strategies from the leaders. And there we saw oof. Group 3 car getting out of the way. They don't have to get out of the way, but I think some of them being very courteous. Here we see another Group 3 car. They do catch him up quickly. That looked like Jokus. 
so Skyjacker didn't get out of the pits ahead of Jokers, obviously. Yeah, I said he'd be behind Jokers and C. Reese, and we just saw them too with uh, Zalaran. So that's virtually a lap. Oh, we might see the fastest lap of the race here as the car shakes itself around the final corner onto the straightaway. A diggity wiggity boo. Whatever it is they say. Although this isn't a NASCAR race, it's a multi class race. 28 9. Put that one in your pipe, Matt Psycho. Chuff on that. So, good lap from Talarand as we sat on board. Gave us a rate treat there. Matt Psycho, 30.8 his last time around. He's also just got past Jokus in uh, that Dodge of Viper. And uh, Matt Psycho chasing down. He's lost a couple of bit of time, I think, with the Group 3 cars. Daz, I don't know if he's pitted. He hasn't pitted, but he's 32 seconds behind Matt Psycho. 42 seconds ahead of the Baz, but the Baz did put medium tyres on. And Racer Brown is catching up the Baz. We said slowly but surely he's been catching up the Baz uh, on those soft tyres. But those soft tyres again, very close to the end of their lifespan. And his fuel is not looking too hot either. Sat on board with the Porsche. With Racer Brown. And we are 1.3 seconds behind uh, Barry. The Bazza. Look at that. The Porsche jiggles more than the uh, other cars do. I thought the Nissan was bad for... Down. Yeah, it's tantalizing uh, for Racer Brown at 31 4. Like I said, his tyres getting close to the end of their cycle. I don't even think that's Baz we're looking at. I see, I think, is it? it must be. I need to say, yeah, that is Baz. Wasn't sure if it was the Dodge Viper. So they're going to be coming across a Group 3 car pretty soon. In this little race they're having, eight tenths now is Racer Brown behind the Baz. Still an hour and a half to go, and still anything that can happen. Fatigue will kick in as well later in the race. These guys are used to doing short stint races, at best an hour, but a two and a half hour race is a different beast altogether. And uh, who knows how it'll affect our racers out there and this race brown is gonna have to sling it into the pits his fuel is pretty much spent and baz lives another day as homesick alien the race leader brings it into the pits and group takes over as uh, the leader of the group threes homesick into the pits bandit easily get by homesick alien jim also putting it into the pits on the exact same pit strategy as the alien jokers a little too far away maybe he'll gain on uh, jim i'm not sure though 48 seconds depends on the fuel i guess and bandit easy is chase easily into the lead the group's still out there bless but bandit eight and a half seconds behind group group though is in the chevy so his tires are getting used up quite neatly and uh, his uh, fuel is depleting so a bandit just having to bide his time wait for his moment and Groot shall pit homesick alien then out and about 21 seconds behind the bandit now um, I know they're on two totally different strategies homesick alien's topped up with fuel and he looks like he's aiming to be out there for a long time not just for a good time and uh, Jim also out the pits, fueled right to the brim, fresh softs, and away he goes. And no, Jokers just was not close enough after doing his fastest lap of his own uh, his, in, of his his own fastest lap uh, in the race. He still wasn't enough to catch up with the Jim. And there goes a group C car of Daz scooting by the Dodge Viper Skyjacker, seven seconds down on. Uh, Jokus, his tyres are a bit fresher and he is setting chase onto the Dodge Viper. He's 16 seconds ahead of C. Reese and uh, there is Pat catching up C. Reese, but he's got a bit of damage on his car and 
series on those racing hard tyres. He put another set on, or it's just they do not wear down whatsoever. Now I think he has had a pit stop, so preferring the hard tyres. Reese has gone back out there on those hard tyres with uh, Pat catching him up on a set of pretty fresh softs. They're bedded in. They're just just right. Let's say. On board with Pat. As we make our way around. Oh, look at Pat. I was just looking at Pat's little uh, sheet that he's done for me. As we were saying, car catching up series on his hard tyres, he said. With qualifying complete and over 100,000 people in the grandstand to drivers' rights, all that is left to do is to quote former NASCAR driver and Fox Sports broadcaster Daryl Waltrip, boogity, 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 let's go racing. Go on, Pat, go racing. And he gets the Ray-Band focus for Mustang up the inside. Uh, I think once I did it as a joke, and it's just now my brain's doing it to me. Saying, yeah, you, you, you. If you want to call it a, a, a focus, then you, let's keep doing it. So, see Reese, seeing uh, Pat get by, and now trying to come back at him. There we getting blue flags for Talarand, is it? Coming across him? I think it might be. He's seven and a half seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. And uh, this is a lovely little battle between the boss and uh, the Psycho. Daz, 38 seconds down the road, but he's 54 seconds ahead of the Baz. Who, oh, Racer Brown, he popped into the pits, didn't he, as he caught him up. And uh, Racer Brown trying to get by Homesick Alien on track. And obviously he has to wait until Homesick Alien is ready. And does so. Beautiful. So, Racer Brown continues on his way. He's 21 seconds behind the Baz. The Baz on medium tyres, half tank fuel. Do you know what? It might be all right. I mean, I mean, Racer Brown might catch him up, but then he'll have to pit again. Big Dan in his Nissan he's had a he's had a journey this evening a spiritual journey here at Daytona Beach in his Nissan he's learned things about himself about the car Woo -hoo. she likes to wiggle into turn one doesn't she she likes to she likes to flick around under braking very stable car. Groot's into the pits then. That means Bandit can just swoosh straight into the lead again in his Ford Mustang. And uh, yes, it looks like there is nothing now to stop Bandit. I know we've still got an hour and a half of racing to go out there. But Bandit is looking unstoppable in his uh, Ford Mustang homesick alien. We'll gain that position, we suspect, from Groot as he tops up. Jim, looking over his shoulder at Jokus. He did a 45.7 last time around. Jim doing a 45.5, but he did have a rough outlap. Do they all have a rough outlap? Oh, yeah, no, the outlap's as slow as the inlap. I apologise. It's more, it's more time than I thought it was. Because they lose some time on their outlap because of that first corner, I guess. So Homesick Alien is ahead of group, but only just. It's very tight. I should have got rather excited about that. But I, I just realised that their outlap is as slow as they're in that. So and it was like, wow. I had a wow moment. And Homesick Alien then, can he hold group back? Group, the Chevy's been looking tight this evening well oh, this day and evening it's looked rather hot stuff so let's get on board with uh, Groot, let's get alongside Groot and Chase is down representing AXR Racing I say uh, the 
the racing part is we've done it's AXR, so it's AX Racing or, or Akapak Racing. I think I said it right for a change. Akipak Racing. So yeah, AXR. They host a wonderful endurance race uh, every now and again. And uh, of recent, they, they did their first soiree into a series. I think it was, what, six or seven rounds? And it, it, it was a hit. It was great stuff. We loved it. And now, he's joined us here at the VRC for a bit of fun. Yeah, there was a two and a half hour race and he couldn't just not say no. So, a homesick alien at the moment, six tenths ahead of a group. Who's hunting get down at the Mustang? Getting rather close with it as well. In a lovely Bose looking uh, Chevy. Homesick alien though. Doing just enough to stay ahead. 21 seconds behind Bandit, but has a lot more fuel on board than Bandit, it has to be said. Jim, 25 seconds behind them, and is still seven seconds ahead of Jokers. Jokers unable to close the gap, but Jim did do a 46 last time, a 46, yeah, last time around. And he's just getting a lap put on him by second place Matt Psycho in the Group C cars. With Jokers behind Jim. I forgot what positions they're in, hang on. Fifth. Jokers is fifth. Skyjack is sixth. Eight seconds behind Jokers. 25 seconds ahead of Reese now. Pat must have had to make a pit stop. No, Pat. He was catching up with Reese. So I don't. Pat's in the pits now. But he was catching up with Reese. Maybe he's had a big one on this lap because his lap times don't look terrible. He did lose 10 seconds on lap 35. So maybe that's what it was. But he's into the pits for a top up, new tyres, as uh, Talleyrand 9.8 seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. Tyres are pretty much half worn, fuel's down to just under a quarter, and uh, he's on track at the moment, on, you know, on track for a race win. I mean, not he's on the track, he's on the track, but I mean he's on track. For a race win. Don't worry, I know what I'm talking about. Um, Matt Psycho's used his tyres up a little more than Talleyrand. Similar fuel. But yes, Matt Psycho. Is he feeling pain with those? He's doing. Uh, he did a 32 on lap 45. That's not helpful. With Daz. In third. 49 seconds behind Matt Psycho and nearly at over a minute ahead of the Baz and uh, poor old Daz, a bit of a lonely race for him out there in that podium position, he wants something to happen up ahead, he wants those two to make him uh, have a crash so he can come back into the race, we're at hour and 11 minutes and they've just started their 47th lap, or Daz has the Baz 17 seconds ahead of Racer Brown, now we've seen this is pretty much, apart from the Talleyrand and Matt Psycho race, this is the next race we've got with the Group C cars. Baza, 17.4 seconds ahead of a Racer Brown, but he's on the medium tyres. He's doing regular 32s. He's dipped into the 41s once. No, yeah, yes. 39 and a 41. I'm, I'm thinking that might have been the pit stop. But it didn't, I don't think it's been that recent. So, but mainly 32s with Racer Brown doing 31s. And we've seen Matt Psycho getting a 28.8. Oh, he's taken um, Talleyrand's fastest lap away. Did it virtually on the next lap. We watched Talleyrand on lap 40 get his 128.8, possibly, I think we did. We watched him get a fastest lap and it was in the 28s. And uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Psycho's answer on lap 41 was to take the fastest lap away from him. 29.7 from Matt Psycho last time around. Talleyrand, 31.6. So, but that could be just getting by Group 3 cars. It, 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 it's hard to judge the Group C uh, lap times, just in case they have come across Group 3 cars and had to back out and slow down. 
to wait for their moment to get by. And that cycle's tyres are getting to the end of their life cycle. Talarand seems to have a little bit left on them. Daz, he's still he's, he's in a similar place to Talarand, still a bit of life on those tyres. The Baz on his mediums barely used them. And he's maintaining that 17 seconds ahead of uh, Racer Brown. Racer Brown getting by one of the Group 3 cars. It's the uh, Dodge Viper, Oracle Dodge Viper. Big Dan in his Nissan. 37 last time around, 33, 36, 33. 30. He's playing bingo with the lap times. Bandit leading the Group 3 cars as he has done for most of the evening. He's lent the lead to Homesick and Groot a couple of times while he pitted, but he's soon always taken over the lead again. And he has stamped his authority all over this race this evening. I know we're not even halfway through, but I'm claiming it for him because he is absolutely killing it. Groot is ahead of Homesick Alien. Has the Alien pitted recently? No, I think that's been done on track. So Groot we saw behind the Alien, although the Chevy does look a little faster than the Mustangs. It's, it's cruel to its tires and it's a thirsty boy. So Groot ahead of Homesick Alien, but possibly has to pit a lot sooner than the Alien will. Homesick Alien staying with Groot, enjoying the tow, I imagine. More racing further down. I don't know who that was. It's not that. No, no, my imagination. So Jim is in fourth place. Solid drive from Jim, seven seconds ahead of Jokers. So Jokers hasn't managed to, to claw Jim in at all in this race. He was seven and a half seconds behind Jim when we first cut to them. And over the last 10 or so laps, nothing's changed. It's back up to 7.6. I think that's because Joker's having to deal with that Group C car and a lack of grip, it seems, in his Viper. Skyjacker, 12 seconds behind Jokus, and uh, not sure if he's uh, he's going to find it. I think it's looking like he's going to be finishing behind Jokus at the moment. Reese, he's gone for those hard tyres. And Pat is starting to catch him back up. Pat's gone for a set of medium tyres. So everyone's strategy spreading around all over the place. Talarand will need to pit soon. That Psycho's tyres look like they need to pit soon. So we might see the leaders coming in. Daz, his, his tyres aren't great, but he's, he, they're better than the guys ahead of him. And he's got a bit more fuel than those guys as well. So Daz sitting pretty, but he is 55 seconds behind Matt Psycho. So they'd have to have a one hell of a, a slow pit stop. And here we go, Talaran then. We're, we're, we're guessing he's going to bring it in this lap. And here he comes. Will Matt Psycho follow two or try and get one more lap out there? He's going for another lap. Oh, no. Yeah. Interesting stuff then. Talaran yet to get to his pit box. Daz, who we thought was in a better position than the two ahead of him, fuel and tyre-wise. He's already on his lap time I'm there looking up to see if he's coming up to the pit lane, but he's that far behind uh, these guys ahead of him. He's nowhere, he's, he's not there to give Talaran anything to worry about so it's just Matt Psycho that Talaran's racing with at the moment and he's back out again on a set of softs three quarters of a tank of fuel and 25 seconds behind Matt Psycho and we'll see Matt Psycho is going to have to come in either this lap or the next Daz Fuel started flashing now, so I imagine Daz and Matt Psycho be in similar time. They both started on the medium tyre, went for a long stint at the beginning, and then both put softs on, and uh, they're going to be coming in similar times. Vaza, he's gone to the medium, started on the softs, 
He was chasing Daz rather closely. But has uh, slipped away from him as he goes by the Group 3 leader, Bandit. Daz there, 10 seconds ahead of Racer Brown. And uh, Racer Brown is slowly catching him. 31s or oh, 34 on lap 48 for Baz. That's not helpful, especially when you've got Racer Brown hunting you down. And uh, Racer Brown breaks into the 30s in his Porsche. And, uh, Big Dan in the Nissan giving us a big slide, power slide there. Beautiful stuff. Bazza has brought it in. That's not who I was expecting to bring it in. I thought it was going to be Daz, but Bazza has come in. And uh, that will give Racer Brown that position. And maybe that's why he's thought about it. Maybe he's thought these medium tyres are absolutely pants. And Racer Brown's catching me hand over fist. I'm going to go in, change it up a little bit, change my strategy. There goes a Racer Brown by Pat. Bandit into the pits then. Group's going to take over the lead of this race. And the homesick alien follows him as well into second place. Bandit in for a pit stop quickly. I think he'll be out ahead of Jim. And Jim, 21 seconds ahead of Skyjacker, who's 20 seconds ahead of Jokus. So Jokus has pitted recently. Yes, there he is. He's put softs on. He's he's got about three quarters of a tank of fuel. Oh, my bum's getting numb. I don't know how they're feeling. Jesus. Right. I'm going to go back and look at the one I was moaning at Pat for. His informative... Um, notes and I was moaning about it. So a Jokus we're on board with in the Oracle a Dodge of Viper. He's sitting at the moment. What, what, what is he sitting? Sixth. He's in the Dodge Viper, the only lone Viper in the nest. This evening, as he gets Racer Brown catching him up in the Group C car. This is what he sees as he makes his way around. He's got a radar, I guess, to know these cars are there. And there he goes. So, Jokers, 20 seconds behind Skyjacker, but he has recently pitted. Whereas Skyjacker may need to pit soon. Pat has got ahead of C. Reese. Hang on, let me go to that. So Pat has got ahead by two seconds. Those hard tyres are not helping Ceres out. Matt Psycho has brought it in. Absolutely nothing in the tank. Daz will be in at the end of this lap as well. Talarand back in the lead. And he's gone for the soft tyres. We, we, we remember that from his pit stop. As we're expecting in, Matt Psycho just getting to his box. As Tanaran goes by and into the first corner. And he's going to have a nice little uh, bit of time on uh, Matt Psycho. By the time Matt Psycho comes out, Daz. He's only just going through the bus stop, sorry. <laughs> Can't think he's missed it. He's missed his pit stop, but he hasn't. A racer Brown is ahead of the Baz. Oh, yeah, because the Baz pitted, didn't he? He made a an unscheduled pit stop we think it was for getting rid of the mediums because they're pants Daz then brings it into the pits he's a minute ahead of uh, uh, Racer Brown so I don't think there's any fear of Racer Brown overtaking uh, uh, Daz at this point Matt Psycho 17 seconds behind Talarand. he's gone for a bit more fuel than Talarand, but he's back on the soft tyres as is Talaran. Daz then into the pits. And yeah, Race Brown, I believe, a little too far away to make any impact on that pit stop for Daz. He's got a quarter of a tank of fuel. His tyres are. Oh, they're alright. Baz, who recently pitted, has put some softs on. Half a tank of fuel. And he's going maximum effort out there. 
to uh, go for, I don't know, really, catch up. Daz a little bit. Daz is in the pits. He's out of the pits. He's fine. I don't even think the time closed in. Too much between him and Racer Brown. I suppose they'll have to go over a sector for it to reschedule. So a Barry Twins, 34 seconds behind Racer Brown. Racer Brown will need to pit soon. Big Dan out there. 35, 34, 48, 54, 36. Bingo. Group leading the Group 3 cars. Homesick Alien, though, only half a second behind him. So somehow Homesick Alien has closed in on Group. Group managed to overtake the Alien earlier in the race and pull away. But now Homesick Alien starting to close up on Group. Corvette seems fast until it gets to near the end of its stint. And then it starts. Well, he's got good tyres. He's got good fuel. 45, 45, 44. As uh, Jim goes flying by the pair of them. And uh, yeah, everything seems all right. Homesick must have just put some. Oh, he's been putting 44s in on the reg. And uh, yeah, Homesick Alien has just raised the bar in that Mustang to another level. Bandit out there. He's just recently pitted. Put some softs on. Half a tank of fuel. And he's cracking on. Cracking on, should I say. And uh, Jim in fourth place. 22 seconds ahead of Skyjacker. Skyjacker on the verge of a pit stop. Jokers, I think, recently pitting. Yes. Back in that 42. And uh, Skyjacker in the Chevy. These Chevys are thirsty and cruel to their tyres. So, Skyjacker. Jokers possibly get that position. Pat's a little too far back to gain anything out of Skyjack's pit stop, but he's pulled 11 seconds out on C. Aris out there. Talleran leads by 16 and a half seconds as he whips by a couple of Group 3 cars. I think that's Homesick Alien and uh, Groot, if I'm not much mistaken. It is with Homesick Alien starting to pile the pressure on uh, the AXR driver. It's Chevy versus Mustang. Chevy versus Ford, should I say. Corvette versus Mustang. Ooh, got a bit of chat happening. Give me a second. Skyjack saying, Chevy, wrong choice for me. And Skyjack saying, feeling it now back and left knee starting to hurt so yeah skyjacker taking the pains of a lengthy race and uh Groot. it's his first vrc endurance race late entry into the event as a replacement following the withdrawal of car 33 post qualifying so Groot in on a wild card you might say and he's, uh, he's dicing it with the leaders. Could be in for a win if Bandit didn't already spank this one and uh, call it his own. 44.080 from Bandit. And that's got to be the fastest in uh, the Group 3s, surely. Home Scalian's fastest is a 44.3. Groot's fastest to 44.3. Jim's fastest to 45.0. Jokers is a 44.7, so Jokers is close to Bandit. Skyjacker, we can't see what his fastest is. And we can't see Pats, and we can't see Ceres. But yeah, I, I would wager a 44.080 is the fastest of all the Group 3 cars. He's 10 seconds behind Homesick Alien as Racer Brown whips by him. Couldn't ask for a better place along the straight. And a homesick alien. Oh, he, he was gaining on the Groot. And the Groot pulling away again. Inside bro. Don't know who that is. It's usually set to friends only, these rooms. 
lives, but they can't do nothing from that. They can't join, so they'll just get bored and leave at some point. But Groot at the moment ahead of home scaling by a second. Bandit nine seconds behind him, but he's faster than both of them at the moment. 44 3 from Bandit. Homesick only a 45 3. Groot 44 4. It's not bad, actually. As it goes, as it comes to it. But Groot, car 14, is going to need to pit pretty soon. Sick alien letting a racer brown through up the insides, and he'll be wanting to lock onto the back of that group C car, chase it for all his might, and see if he can gain an advantage on group. But no, the, the, the group C car come across the group three car in the perfect place down the straight. As you see, the sparks kicking off from the Corvette ahead. Home sick alien's fuel starting to flash as is Groots and Bandit rubbing his hands, waiting for that lead to come back to him. Jimbo still got a bit of fuel as a Baza tries to get by, and he does. Jokus then is ahead of Skyjacker after the pit stop. Skyjacker, 42 seconds ahead of Pat, and Pat, 27 seconds ahead of Reese. So group three cars have spanned out a little bit, fastest battle we've got really is this one with Groot and Homesick Alien both of them low on fuel will be in at the end of this lap although they've got a way to go before they see the pit lane let's have a look up here Talaran 17 and a half seconds ahead of a Matt Psycho Matt Psycho doing 29.2 and a 30.1 the last two laps Talaran doing 29-1 and a 29-4 and Talarandra really is on top of his game at the moment. Matt Psycho in second, Daz in third in the Group C cars. Six runners in the Group C category in the Group 1s and uh, Daz keeping half an eye on uh, Racer Brown I imagine. You've always got to keep half an eye on him even if he is 37 seconds behind, he has an uncanny way of uh, getting into the mix. Racer Brown at the moment, he's managed a 30.7, but on a whole, he can't get out the 31s. But his fuel's low, his tyres are done. He's going to be into the pits, and Baza will be back ahead, I foresee, of Racer Brown. So there's more racing to be done further up the road we're at an hour and a half that means 60 more minutes of racing to go people 60 minutes of this two and a half hour endurance event not even a race it's an event so the baz waiting for racer brown to plop it into the pits and he will gain ground groot and homesick as predicted have both come into the pits bandit will just cruise on by and retake that lead away from uh, those two pretenders to the throne. And uh, Bandit, the rightful owner of the, the Fawn of Swords. Big Dan having fun in his Nissan. Getting regular 32s, the, the, the lap times. Why is everyone coming in and leaving? Don't bother coming in even you're never going to get to race we're in the middle of something we're on lap 58 of 99 well big dan is there on 59 uh talaran's on 61 just got a purple 28 4 for talaran 19 seconds ahead of matt psycho and it looked like there was a lot of group three action going on there where talaran was is that Groot and homesick both coming out of the pits that was it Groot's come out ahead of Homesick Alien by five seconds, but Homesick Alien's put a lot more fuel in than Groot, and they're 20 seconds behind Bandit. Interesting stuff, just as Talaran came across them and put the fastest lap in. Jim's gone into the pits, which has promoted a Jokus. No, has it, has it, has it? Yeah, Jokus is around the first. No, Jim's out. Jim is out. Is that the leader ahead of him? No, I think that's C. Reese. 
So Jim just about to put a lap on the Mustang of a C Reese. I oh, don't race in C Reese. Do him a favour. He's got a car coming up. He's got Jokers chasing him down. C Reese just wants to race everyone. He's not really getting out of the way, and that's not helpful to Jim. And uh, on board with Jim, though, it looks like he's got by. Not quite. And Jim is not going to be happy about this series. And he's lost a position to Jokus. And my word, the backmarker has played a huge part in this race. And it's let the Viper through. And Jim not happy. Flashing his lights at series. He's got the rookie sticker on, but still, he should know about uh, being lapped, I imagine. We'll see. Post race. Did we see something between Jokers and C Reese earlier on in the uh, the race as well? I saw the back end of it anyway. So Jokers managing to get that position from Jim. And now Jim's got it all to do. Although he's just freshly out of the pits. Full tank of fuel. Right. Whereas Jokers has been going around a bit. He's got a quarter of a tank of fuel left. His tyres are a little used, not much used, but a little used. But no, no need. Jim is uh, fancying to get the move done. Early doors. As we get into the late evening here at Daytona, the floodlights are the only thing lighting our way now. And Talleranda leads the Group C category, or the Group 1 category, sorry, and uh, Bandit leads the group threes home scaling and Groot are locked into a tight battle behind them and uh, here in fourth and fifth we find Jim and Jokus having a big solid battle Skyjacker 18.9 seconds behind Jim 47 seconds ahead of Pat and uh, Pat 44 seconds ahead of C. Reese. It was up to use the hard tyre mostly over this race, but I just don't think there's no pace with those hard tyres. He was doing 48s and now he's into the 50s. Talarando flying high, 19.65 six seconds ahead of Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho with more fuel though, going for a longer run. But still, it's a hard to see where he's going to find 19 seconds from. Ooh. Touch. Just wetting uh, the whistle somewhat. We have Daz holding that third place, but he's over a minute behind the leaders now. And a minute ahead of Baz. He's only two seconds ahead of Racer Brown. So somehow, Racer Brown really closed up that gap to the Baz and he's not at the end of a stint he's got good fuel good tires and it's race on between uh, racer brown and the barry twins as you see the ferris wheel we dip around the corner we'll see it again in a minute because they turn around and face the other way oh, possibly not no, you won't be until we're on the oval again you'll see it and they've come up towards some Group 3 cars. It looks like Jim has got himself back ahead of Jokers. And, oh, it's a tight one there. Oh, it was like all sorts of things going wrong there for Baz. Baz has got the wiggles on. And Racer Brown gets the position, does he, though? It's side by side, coming around the oval. And poor old Jim. Looked like there was some interference in his and Jokers' race. And I'm going to go back and check how they're doing. Because to me, it looks like the Viper is back ahead of the Mustang. And at the moment, Racer Brown trying his hardest to catch up with a big Baz. Beefcake Baz. And no, Racer Brown just can't do it. The, the speed he caught up to the Baz, I thought he was going to easily get by, but no, he's, uh, Baz has got it all, he's the whole package, so let's have a look at poor old Jim, no, he, oh, 
with this side by side coming down the straight into the first corner and uh, Jokus stamping his authority into that first corner he was no way letting uh, Jimbo by and I think Jim had to back out of that one just in case he lost the front of his nose and now you've got the group C car trying to get by Jokus and he gets through uh, I think that's Daz we saw it there just getting by Jokas Uh, Jimbo, eight tenths behind. But he'll feel he's, he's lost that position. But Jokers will be into the pits at the end of this lap, if it's any consolation to Jim. And he is 15 seconds ahead of Skyjacker. So uh, no fear there. And uh, Jim just waiting for Jokers to disappear into the pits. So he can crack on, chasing down homesick alien who's now six and a half seconds behind Groot, but Groot 20 seconds behind Bandit. Bandit, though, getting to the end of his stint. And again, Bandit will drop behind Homesick and Groot. Jokers at the moment just getting up towards the pit lane, coming around the final corner, the long left-hand turn. And we'll see the Oracle Dodge Viper disappear into the pit lane as Matt Psycho goes by and puts another lap on the group three cars and there goes Jokers we, we said it would happen and it did so Jim freed up now to uh, raise his pace if he wishes and uh, Skyjacker gets by Jokers as well I would assume Jokers not even at his uh, pit lane yet and there we go, Skyjacker up into fifth place, I think. Bandit, you, 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 vagabond, you. Look at you. Look at you. No one thought you were anywhere at the beginning of qualifying, and right near the dead of qualifying, you put that pole lap in from nowhere. Amazing pace, and then into the race. You have not put a single foot wrong. You have driven amazingly, gallantly, terrifically, deliciously. But you will be pitting soon, Bandit. You will be pitting soon, and we'll see you. Home six ahead of Groot. Groot's had a massive one. Oh, no. Groot's had damage. So Groot losing his car a little bit, and Homesick Alien now into second place. And he's got Racer Brown breathing down his neck. How does that work out? Oh, Bazza's into the pit, so Racer Brown's up into fourth place. Too far behind Daz, though, for it to even register. So a uh, Racer Brown, possibly fourth, is the highest he's going to go, but Baz has got something to say about that. He's in the pits at the moment, and Big Dan, too far behind Baz to make an impression. Bandit, 26 seconds ahead of Homesick Alien who now is 23 seconds ahead of Groot. That was a painful off for Groot. And Jim, 19 seconds behind Groot. See what I said? See, anything can happen. Never give up hope in a two and a half hour race because racers seem to have a habit of coming back to you. And uh, yeah, Jimbo. It's 19 seconds, it's a lot, but now you've got to think Groot will be wanting to push. He would have lost a shed load of time and uh, he'll be trying to gain that time back. It's the terrible mentality for, of racers and then he'll end up pushing and uh, maybe having another off. Bandit pits, no fuel on board. Perfectly timed for Bandit. Homesick Alien will retake the lead. He's got a half a tank of fuel. They're on lap 57. Talaran comes in also, the leader. He's on lap 67 of 99. Matt Psycho, plenty of fuel on board. Just coming around, so the race is still on between Talarand and Matt Psycho, and Matt Psycho has got over a quarter of a tank of fuel left on board to play with. And there he is, Talarand just reaching his pit block. The blocks are on his pit box as they get to work on his car, Matt Psycho takes over the lead, 
yeah, with plenty of fuel and uh, tyres relatively okay. Matt Psycho has no interest in a pit stop anytime soon. Daz, over a minute and 18 seconds ahead of Racer Brown and a minute and 38 seconds behind Talleyrand. He really is in no man's land. There's nothing happening in front of him and out behind him. Racer Brown, meanwhile, he's in a tough battle with the Baz. And I think he's, he's done it. I think he's 35 seconds ahead of Baz. And uh, Racer Brown, you old dog. Look at you. Big Dan then in uh, sixth spot. He, he, he didn't predict much from this because he, the Nissan is trying to kill him. And he loves this little torture, I tell you. The more challenging the car, he chose the Honda NSX. He's chosen the Nissan in this, so... Uh, Big Dan, a glutton for punishment. Oh, it's a bit of sadomasochism, it seems. Homesick Alien leading the Group 3 cars. Oh, God, there's people coming and going all over the place. This is a popular lobby. Forty-five minutes to go, people. Bandit only seven seconds behind after his pit stop. And that's a couple of Group C cars very close together, but... Is that Talleyrand after his pit stop? Oh, is it Baza and... Talleyrand. Talleyrand putting a lap on Baza, sorry. Yes, Talaran putting a lap on the Baz. 16.9 seconds are behind Matt Psycho. And that would have helped him with uh, Talaran coming across. Barry Twins and what Group 3 car was we looking at? Bandit. Groot, he threw it into the pits, I believe. No, I don't think he has. He's just carried on, as is. And he's got Ensign Newark catching him up. From behind the Group C car, just putting a lap, another lap on him. And, uh, we are 45 minutes left of this race. Group 15 seconds behind second place Bandit. Bandit, eight seconds uh, behind uh, first place Homesick Alien. That's just the Group 3 cars. It's a multi-class race, I tell thee. And uh, up at the front, we've got Matt Psycho, but he's heading very well. I say he's heading very fast to a pit stop, but he's uh, he's still got a quarter of a tank of fuel. Feels he's probably got some more there to crack on with. It's classed him as 70 laps out of 99. So 29 laps left to do for Matt Psycho and uh, Talarand. Daz, 69. He's on 69, big dude. 69, yeah. He's on 69. Look. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Racer Brown's on 68, it's boring. If I wait a bit, I can get more of a laugh out of it. Because he's going to change to 70 in a minute. No, it's quite a while yet. We can enjoy the 69 goodness. And that Plastico has gone. I didn't know if MC Game was so popular. So, Daz, missing a bit of the bus stop there. In his pursuit of Talarand. And uh, race around 38 seconds ahead of the Baz. And they're similar pit strategies now, fuel-wise. Big Dan, he's coming to the end of a stint. He's just under a quarter of a tank of fuel. Barely used those softs in this one. Homesick Alien leading the Group 3s by nine seconds. Bandit in second. Groot in third. We saw Groot have a small... Well, we didn't see the off, but we saw he had damage. And he was shaking it off. Jim in fourth, 13 seconds ahead of Skyjacker in fifth, and Skyjacker is uh, 19 seconds ahead of sixth. Jokus with Pat in seventh, and uh, C. Reese in eighth. So, who shall we look at? Who's close? So, we'll just nip out and get some fresh air. So, I'm feeling rather. My eyes are burning. So, I think Talarand is our man. Let's just go on board with Talarand for a short interval. And 
I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Just... 69, giggity, hee hee, that was Binko. Binko's as mature as I am. So there, it makes me feel better. I'll see you soon. You enjoy a lap with Talleyrand. All right, all right, all right. You're with Thingy Man Jig and the Lamp here. And we're watching ourselves a two and a half hour endurance race. We're an hour and 51 minutes in. So only 40 more minutes to go. You've been sat on board with Talleyrand for a couple of laps. I wasn't gone that long. I had to, I had to have a, a minute fresh air. Oof. I don't know how those guys are feeling in the cars, but it's... It's grueling out there, it's grueling. It's a long race. Talleyrand has gained two seconds on Matt Psycho's lead. Matt Psycho was 17 seconds ahead of Talleyrand, I'm sure. Last time I looked, Matt Psycho doing a 29.7, 29.7. Very, very good lap times. He's come across. C. Reese, though, in the Group 3 cars, but he uh, gets uh, by him pretty quick. His tyres look all but gone, and Talleyrand are chasing him down. Big Dan is in. Big Dan is into the pits. The Baz, 39 seconds behind Racer Brown, and uh, he's uh, half a tank of fuel. Racer Brown's about a quarter of a tank of fuel. So it's still tight between the Baz and Racer Brown, I think, when it all unfolds. Homesick Alien leading the Group 3 racing at the moment. Eight seconds ahead of Bandit, but Bandit's got more fuel on. 
fresher tyres than the Alien. He's just done a 44.9 and a 44.8. Homesick Alien running a 44.9 and 45.3. So it's very close, very close indeed for this win. Groot's out there as well, always a threat. He's had an off though, lost a bit of time to the leaders. But he's 23 seconds ahead of Jim. It was down to 19, so he's pulled away from Jim a little bit. Jim uh, trying to get some space between him, jo him and Jokers. Jokers was ahead of Jim just before he had to pit. So Jim trying uh, to lengthen that distance before his pit stop. But it's similar fuel there between Jokers and Jim. I think the Dodge probably similar to the Chevy with ripping its tyres up. So they have to pit more often. Skyjacker is, hang on, sixth, sorry. He's a minute 42 ahead of Pat and 17 seconds behind Jokers. So everything to race for because Jokers tearing those tyres up down to a quarter of a tank of fuel. Skyjacker over three quarters of a tank of fuel. Fresh racing soft tyres. Ah, I think there's still stuff to play for for Skyjacker. I still think fifth is on the cards if he plays them right pat then head always oh, coming to the end of his stint he tried a set of mediums for this run and he's a uh, low on fuel and uh c reese brand new mediums he's got rid of those hards finally he's gonna feel a bit of pace now watch yourself reese c reese you're gonna you're gonna feel some speed with a set of mediums on you're gonna get a nosebleed Matt Psycho, 14 second lead at the moment, his fuel is flashing, his tyres are dead, he will pit soon, he will be behind Talleyrand, these are facts. But the uh, the question is, will the strategy still work? Who's that? Someone, I think that's Ensign Ewart had an off there. It's, uh, no one no, we have to worry about now, Ensign Ewart. I think Ensign Ewart may have been getting out of the way of a lot of cars. It seemed like there was a lot of cars all just up ahead of him. Here, starting here, Daz. And then oh, the Group 3 cars. Who are all these good cars? Skyjacker. I think they're all just mixed on separate laps, different categories. So there is Groot. He's low on fuel. He's going to be having to pit. He's lost more time to Bandit now as well. Bandit and Homesick are running away with this one. Although Bandit, he's not much of a better position. Do you know what? I think Homesick might have turned this one around on Bandit. And somehow, Bandit isn't in the strong position that he was earlier and I don't understand how that where am I going I don't understand how that's happened he's doing super fast lap times he's done nothing wrong but homesick alien he really topped up didn't he in one of those pit stops as did Jim and he's just cracked on Matt Psycho's into the pits we said that will happen pretty soon and Talleyrand only 12 seconds, 13 seconds behind him. will definitely retake the lead here. We're on lap 77 of 99. So not long to go in this race. We're just coming up to the two hour mark. Do you know what? I thought it was going to run short, but I'm starting to think possibly not. Oof. Who's that? Pat was coming out of the pits. And uh, yeah, Skyjacker. And they're not racing for position, obviously, but Pat was coming out of the pits and Skyjacker coming across the uh, the pit lane there. I thought there was nearly going to be a collision happening. Joker's chasing down Jim. Like I said, Jim, it, same as home scaling, topped up a lot of fuel. Who just pitted? I missed it. What was it? No, it must have been Big Dan in the Nissan. He's put a, half a tank of fuel in and some racing softs. I don't think that's enough to get him all the way to the end. So, I think he's going to have to pit again before the end of the race. Homesick Alien, though. 4.3 seconds ahead of Bandit. So, he's just lost a big chunk of time to Bandit. He's done a couple of 45s in a row. Bandit still in the 44s. He's, he seems to have pulled in a, a big chunk of time on Homesick. Daz coming into the pits. He needs it as well. Barely nothing on that car. And Racer Brown over a minute behind him, so no fear about Daz uh, Brown behind you, Daz. Uh, he, 
looks like that podium's pretty much secure. We don't know between Matt Psycho and uh, Talarand how it's going to pan out still. I'm, I honestly couldn't say. Now, he, uh, Matt Psycho, that could that get him to the end of the race? What that combo that he's got going on there? Does Talarand have to pit? I think Talarand, that's not enough to get to the end of the race. Woo! Talaran closing in on Ensign Ewart rather speedily there, but they avoided each other, so all's good. And uh, yeah, it looks like the sun is on its way back up. We've raced through the night. We've partied it up. There ain't no party like a... a what party? What party? There ain't no party like a... S Club party. A VRC Club party. So, yes... We've spent the night, the sun is back to say good morning and Talarand is leading by 24 seconds to Matt Psycho, but they're on different strategies. We're suspecting maybe Matt Psycho m might not have to pit, possibly not have to pit, whereas Talarand will have to pit. It's gonna be touch and go from the leaders as uh, Matt Psycho goes around Skyjacker and chases down at Talarand. Daz is, is a yellow flag. I often see those. Someone off the road. Someone's just been placed back on the road again. But Daz, 36 seconds ahead of Racer Brown. But Racer Brown's going to appear. I think Daz is done for the day. He's just going all the way to the end as he sees Pat on his inside and goes uh, by. A racer Brown will have to pit again, and possibly so will Baz. So uh, nothing should change there. Big Dan in the Nissan has come across a couple of Group Three cars. Groot and uh, C Reese. He uh, dispenses with C Reese and then just waits patiently to get around this corner before opening up the Group C car and uh, buzzing straight past. Yeah, Corvette. Homesick Alien at the moment is leading the blimey. Bandit's only two seconds behind him. So Bandit's been slowly clawing it back, but Homesick Alien desperately needs pit. Bandit does not. He saved the fuel. They were very close with fuel, but Homesick Alien, the fuel bar flashing, and this could, could this be? I don't know if the Group 4's group fours group group three cars can uh, go half an hour on a tank possibly yeah because obviously he hasn't pitted that much tonight so he'll be in for his final pit stop question is will bandit stay out or will he follow in the homesick alien and uh, just put in a little less fuel hopefully jump him in the pits only 2.6 seconds between them jim 41 seconds down the road and he's, he's up to third place now with Groot. Oh, but he's got a pit himself. Groot's put medium tyres on. He's sick of all these pit stops in the Chevy. He's filled up and he's going all the way to the end. Joker, 16 seconds behind him. He's due a pit stop. Skyjacker, half a tank of fuel on the racing uh, softs. And I think that's the back of Homesick Alien he's looking at, is it? Oh, he's catching him. See this. Anyway, whoever it was, Skyjacker is uh, through and past and does his fastest lap of the race so far with a 44 5. So Skyjacker did find that speed in the uh, Chevy in the end. Pat in 13th, just about to get a 13th. Well, 13th overall, but 7th uh, in the, the Group 3 category. He's on lap 67, 68, so we can't get too excited yet, but wait a lap. C. Reese on 66, lap 66, he's, had, he's picked up a bit of damage on his suspension. Must have hit a curb, because it's just specifically on his suspension. How weird is that? Talaran then. When's that pit stop going to happen? With the morning sun in their eyes, that looks like it's quite difficult. He's just turned out of it now, but when he turns into it again, it looks like it's right there and it's blinded. But Talaran, 27 seconds ahead of Matt Psycho, but we suspect 
Callahan's got a pit before the end of the race. And we think that Psycho's going all the way. And we'll get to see how bright that sun is in our eyes. In just a minute. It's not too bad, is it, actually? It's, it's... No, it's not too bad, actually. I thought it'd be glaring in their eyes all the way around the corner. So, Talleyrand, Matt Psycho, oof, it's going to be tight. Daz, then, we think, is going all the way to the end with that. Racer Brown's come into the pits at the Baz. He's not got enough to go to the end, though, so... Big Dan is going to pit again. Bandits brought it in. Homesick brought it in the lap or two before, I think the lap before. Or two, because he's not on his out lap now. And uh, Bandit in the pits now. It's going to be tight between these two. And Groot is back up to third ahead of Jim because Jim pitted. Yes, Jim pitted. And Groot looks like he's trying to go to the end. And, uh, yeah, they're all going to try and get these cars filled up and to the end of the race. Homesick Alien then coming around the straightaway. But it's a, it's, it's a weird exit on the uh, pit lane. It's like they come around the first corner, but he's still stood still as Bandit as Homesick Alien comes around. And he sees the exit of the pit lane. Bandit's out, though. Bandit is out. It's going to be tight. It's going to be close. There they both are. And it's nearly side by side in the first corner. Homesick Alien backs out of it. And whoever's behind him had to back out. Oh, and Bandit's gone wide. Bandit's gone wide in the first corner, second corner, sorry, turn two. And Homesick Alien is up and into the lead. And now Bandit has to work for it. He's going to have to go and attack the Alien. And that... It's easier said than done, but I think Bandit has been the fastest man in the Mustangs, the Group 3 cars. So if anyone can do it, Bandit can do it. But it's race on here. After two hours and four minutes, Homesick Alien and Bandit are 1.7 seconds apart. It was so close. And Bandit, I think, with those cold tyres coming out of the pits, just didn't find the grip in that first... The, the, well, the second turn two but the first corner the bandit came across Groot then 24 seconds behind these guys he's trying to get that Chevy all the way to the end but he's on the medium tire Jim's on the soft tire so Jim is going to be flying like the wind like the wind to try and catch up with Groot and Groot what's going to be losing giving away about a second second and a half with those medium tires there's plenty of time still left to do it and uh, Jimbo he knows what the mission is He's just uh, got to go for it. Jokus then. He's gone in. He's topped up. He's going on his way all the way to the end. He's ahead of Skyjacker, who's just coming out of the pit lane. And it's race on between those two. 12 seconds. 12 seconds between Skyjacker and Jokus. And let me tell you, with 25 minutes left of racing, it's nothing. It, it could fall away. And Jokus not taking the risk like Groot is with medium tyres. He's gone with the softs that he knows. And we know the Dodge Viper isn't too pretty with its soft tyres. So still a big gamble for Jokus out there in the chat. We have... Skyjacker just saying how, how Jim... How JM? How Jim? How how Jim? So then we have Homesick Alien ten seconds ahead of Bandit. So Bandit even losing more time on his outlap. Talarand is in. This is the showdown. And uh, we think Matt Psycho is going all the way to the end. And Talaran's in for the pit stop. There was 26 seconds difference between them both. Matt Psycho goes through into the first turn. Talaran's still getting fuel. And Matt Psycho near the pit exit. Talaran is only still getting topped up. And Matt Psycho is through and into turn two. Talaran is just leaving the pit exit. He's put in a bit more fuel than Matt Psycho, though. Has Matt Psycho got enough fuel to get to the end? He's on half a tank of fuel. Talarand is on three quarters of a tank of fuel. Either Talarand's put a little bit too much fuel in, or 
that psycho doesn't have enough fuel for the end of the race he's eight seconds in the lead Daz it's it's uh, it's a tough call isn't it he's got less fuel than Daz and Talarand who we know have fueled up to the end and racer Brown and Baz Big Dan <laughs> Big Dan's not gonna get to the end of the race on that fuel so Matt psycho is touch and go it's gonna be touch and go on that fuel I believe but he knows his car he's been racing it for the last two hours and eight minutes so he must know what fuel he needs but my word my word oh word so uh, Matt Psycho this is his ninth VRC endurance race entry he's had two overall wins and three times second overall all but one race in higher category so he's only ever raced in the lower category so seven races in the group ones usually group ones it might mean group threes in a couple of races but um yeah and two wins going for his third win if he's got enough fuel talarand his fourth endurance race his best result is third overall at spa in 2020 second and fourth in lower categories in the other races so if this this is this will add to his stats bump that third into a second unless Matt Psycho doesn't have the right amount of fuel and that is the big question mark here as uh, Matt Psycho puts a lap on racer Brown Daz all on his own and there's uh, no one there to race for poor Daz but I imagine just enjoying getting those fast lap times look at that 29.8 Although Talarand holds the fastest lap of this race so far with a 28.476. Uh, Racer Brown in fourth. Done well. He's done well because he had a big one at the beginning of the race. Him and Ensign knew it. But he's come back. And he's managed to, to see off Baz. And it's over a minute, so there's not much chance of Baz getting that place back. And uh, Big Dan gave it a go didn't he in his nissan so home sick alien leading the group threes unbelievable stuff i thought bandit had his name all over it bandit's got a bit more fuel i don't know i don't know i honestly thought this was bandits i did not see this coming from the alien it has been out of the blue. So Big Dan into the pits. We knew he was going to be coming in pretty soon. And that'll be a good measuring stick. If he puts half a tank of fuel in, we know it's it's about right. If he puts more in. Although they're all getting about half. So I think Matt Psycho's eased off a little bit there. Or he's somehow eats that fuel out a bit. Because they're all starting to get to about half a tank. Oof. Had a moment then when we thought Matt Psycho didn't have enough fuel in. It's Baz and Racer Brown have got quite a bit of fuel in. Big Dan still fueling up. Homesick Alien. Eight seconds ahead of Bandit. Bandit a 44-8 last time around. Homesick with a 47-1. So Homesick losing a bit of time. Can I imagine that's some Group C cars getting by him. a lot of action up ahead with Pat, Skyjacker and Barry Twins all in a row Bandit eight and a half seconds so Bandit's having some trouble coming to the end of the race bit of fatigue maybe cramp in the leg anything can happen Groot's closing in Groot's becoming a concern now for Bandit Jimbo 20 seconds behind Groot, which isn't bad really. He's on the soft tires. He's done a 46 8 with the C. He's got a lot of traffic around him. He's just had to get past C Reese. And he's got someone up there. Oh no, they've gone. There must be a group C car. So, Jim then trying to track down a Groot for a podium position here this evening. Jokus ahead of Skyjacker. Tires seem to be having, and the Chevy chasing him down, Pat lap down on uh, Skyjacker. He's stuck with it though, and uh, 
having a jolly good time, hopefully. See Reese, he's been on uh, an adventure this evening. We've uh, going on hard tires for a couple of stints there. Slowed him down too much. Look, he's got the pace. He did a 44.7 on a set of mediums. If he'd uh, if he'd stuck with soft tires or something, I think he he could have uh, had more out of this race. Matt Psycho, nine seconds lead on Talarand. And uh, we've got 27 minutes just under left of racing here. No, not even 27. I apologize. 17 minutes. I just don't want the party to end. That's why I'm adding time on. But yeah, 17 minutes and these guys can uh, go and have a wee. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk to anyone because I think they're all just scoot off straight after the race because they'll be bladdered. So Matt Psycho leads this race. The fuel isn't a concern, was it? I panicked over nothing, I think. Talarand. How did that happen? Again, all this race, Talarand looked dominant throughout as did Bandit in the Group 3 cars. And then, come the end of the race, suddenly, there they go, Bandit and Talaran, both together on track. And uh, something as... as there's a twist in the story, a tale, it seems, with Matt Psycho, nine seconds lead on uh, Talaran. And Talaran's done maintained great pace, ran a great race, and, and somehow... That psycho's managed to kazump him in the pit stops. Maybe it was that long run on the medium tyres. He did a big long stint just before this pit, this recent pit stop of his. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But Talarand trying to claw it back. But the race may just have got away from him with only 16, 15 minutes to go. Jim Daz, sorry, is... Uh, all alone in this race he's got no time to, to see Tal uh, above Talarand and no time to race around so he's all by himself I'm wrapping up like we've got I keep saying like time for 10 laps there's 10 laps left that sounds like loads doesn't it one and a half minutes a lap yeah no it's about about right isn't it I tell you what, home scaling is good with his mouth, isn't he? Working out like nine laps. But Matt Psycho, nine seconds ahead of Talarand with uh, Daz just behind, a bit behind. Race Brown, a bit behind Daz. And he's a minute ahead of the Baz, who's a bit ahead of Big Dan. He's gone to the racing mediums in this last stint. Three quarters of a tank of fuel. And I mean, uh, we've only got a few laps to go. I don't think he needs all that fuel. Maybe he wants to use it to get home. Homesick Alien leads from Bandit by eight seconds. I never saw that coming. I would never have dreamt that that was going to happen. And I still can't believe it's going to happen. That is amazing. Groot, 13 seconds behind Bandit. And Jim has pulled two seconds in on Groot. Groot doing 46s on those medium tyres. And Jimbo going faster and faster each lap. And uh, But I think he may have ran out of laps to do it in with only 10 laps on. I mean, they, for them, they see 76. And you can know there's no way you can count how many times you've been lapped in a race. So I imagine he's just going by time, unaware of really how long he's got left to catch up Groot, but again, another second, he's gained on Groot. So gaining a second every minute would be enough, would it? No, there's 13 minutes left and he's 17 seconds behind and his tyres will wear down before the end of the race. Bandit has found a second on Homesick. So Homesick Alien losing a second to Bandit. Jim, like I said, in fourth place, sorry, behind Groot, chasing Groot down. Jokus, strong fifth there as he's overtaken by Talarand. 
He's 30 seconds ahead of Skyjacker. Skyjacker hoping that the Dodge Viper's tyres fall to pieces. But at the moment, they seem to be staying together quite nicely. And uh, Skyjacker there in sixth, ahead of Pat, who's in seventh, who is ahead of Reese, who is in eighth spot, who's getting overtaken by a couple of uh, Group 3 cars. And it looks like that, uh, Racer Brown's trying to unlap himself from Daz. Daz with a 29.8 last time around. 34.8 from Racer Brown. And that Porsche has been giving him jip the whole race. He's not been able to get a steady lap time in, it seems. They're all over the place, those lap times. Whee! And I'm guessing that's why the surprise attack from the rear for Racer Brown in his Porsche as uh, Daz in the Mazda says goodbye and leaves him for dust. Talleyrand, 9.4 seconds on Matty Psycho. And uh, uh, Matt Psycho, though, his tyres are starting to look torn up a little bit, whereas um, Talleyrand's are fresh. And if Talleyrand goes on a tyre rate of 29s, I don't think there's going to be much for Matt Psycho to do about that as he slips into the 30s. And uh, there still might be something in this race yet between them two. And uh, further down, homesick, seven seconds ahead of Bandit. Tires are the same, fuel's the same, and uh, it's gonna. But Bandit again, going faster than everyone else. A 44.010. I haven't seen anyone else get a lap time like that. I'm pretty sure it's on the verges of taking it into the 43s as he tries to catch up Homesick Alien in this race. 6.8 seconds. So Bandit really on a push at the moment, trying to catch up the Ford Mustang Groot. 17 seconds adrift of Bandit now, and only 15 seconds ahead of Jim. Jim really is, he, he's accepted the mission and he's put the mission into um, action. He's actioned that mission. But with 10 more minutes left on the clock, it's a tough call to find 15 seconds, even if the car in front of you has got medium, has got medium tires on and is doing 46s regularly. Jim in the 45s, if you could just edge it down. Another second a lap, he could possibly get this one done and get a podium but it's a tough one 45-0 sees so getting closer to the 44s 15 and a half seconds are behind groups with bandit seven seconds behind homesick alien and it's very tight down there in the group three cars behind them they've got jokus who's 37 seconds behind jim and he's 29 seconds ahead of Skyjacker, who is ahead of Pat in the Valverlin Corvette. His fastest lap of the race, a 44.8. He's uh, enjoying some nice pace, sitting in uh, Skyjacker's wake. And uh, C. Reese on the softs now. He's gone to the soft tyre, and he's filled right up with fuel, but... You're not doing 99 laps, series. You're only doing nine, lap, uh, nine minutes. So that's way too much fuel, although you're not really racing anyone, so I don't suppose it, it, it matters too much. Matt Psycho then, seven seconds. And those Group 3 cars still keep getting in the way. His tyres are looking pretty burnt, and he's got a quarter of a tank of fuel left. We've got nine, eight minutes left of racing here. Talaran, can he do the impossible? He's done a 28.9 last time around. And uh, Matt Psycho in the 30s. Two, two laps in the 30s. And the tyres, he must be feeling those tyres by now. And Tarran trying to close the gap and avoid the Group 3 cars as he does so. It's going to be nip and tuck between those two with Matt Psycho's tyres getting worse and worse each corner. And Talleyrand starting to pull in the pull out all the stops. Then Daz 
in third, secured that podium, guaranteed podium. He could pull over, have a pint, and still get that podium position, I believe. Racer Brown in fourth. Only 16 seconds ahead of Baz, so he must have had a bad one. Yeah, a 149 last time around for Racer Brown. And the Porsche still trying to get at him as he puts a lap on the Dodge Viper. And uh, Baza, it's not over yet, although less than seven minutes to go. It's, uh, it's tough. It's a tough one. Big Dan then, sixth. not been able to, to get a nice regular lap time they seem to be up and down homesick alien 5.7 seconds a lot of traffic for the alien as he loses more time to bandit bandit on a big push to get the alien he wants the win well they both want the win but bandit being in control of the race for most of the the the, the, the duration feels that that win is more his than it is homesick aliens homesick alien right at the end there through a bit of a clever strategy got himself ahead of bandit and uh, I think bandit was expecting it but like he had it all under control but he's got eight seconds they came out of the pits he came out of the pits virtually with alien but lost a little time on the cold tires but he's got it from eight seconds down to 5.4 seconds. And he's pushing like hell, as is Talarand, who's got it down to five seconds as well. And uh, we've got five minutes left. Matt Psycho's tyres looking more and more abused as Talarand tries 29 1 last time around for Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho got it back in the 29s, though, a 29 9. So Matt Psycho doing just enough to stay ahead. Unbelievable stuff. Talarand in second, Daz third. We've got Racer Brown in fourth with Baz catching him in fifth as he gets past Jokas in the Dodge Viper. Big Dan in sixth. Then we have Homesick Alien leading the group three cars just ahead of a lapped Skyjacker and Bandit in second oh my word i honestly thought bandit was going to win this race what's happened so homesick alien with great strategy i believe has uh got himself ahead of bandit we've got less than well we've just come up to four minutes left of this race it's not done by time it's done by laps so i should just look at talarand see how many laps he's got but Bandit pushing on, trying to catch up with Homesick. We had Groot being caught by Jim, but Jim has, uh, well, he did a 46 and a 47, maybe overdriving the car, or maybe a bit of a crowd with Group C cars coming through, has uh, lost a second and a bit from Groot. And uh, that's probably it now, his podium chances are out the door with uh, Jokus sitting in a very strong fifth place he must be pleased with that over two and a half hours one that his connection didn't give up and two that he's uh he's driven a great race and, and ended up ahead of skyjacker pat c reese and we lost noxie early doors skyjacker in the chevy we've seen him following homesick around for a while proving he had the pace of the leaders uh, just didn't get the rub of the green in the duration of this race he caught up with the alien quite a lot in that corner rather scary could have uh, could have affected the lead of this race for a second then patting 13th having a small off i think that's the first one i've seen him have for, during in the, throughout the race though so not bad c reese is in um eighth place i think yes eighth place 
So Matt Psycho, three seconds, three seconds ahead of Talleran. This is so tight. What's the whole situation down there? Five seconds between Homesick and Bandit. Bandit pushing on, but it's this battle here. Matt Psycho on lap 97. Tires virtually done. Fuel down, but not flashing. Talleyrand, similar fuel, tires loads better. Three seconds, three seconds he's looking for. And uh, they're on their penultimate lap. And my good golly gosh, is tighter than I thought. Come the end of the race. It needs Matt Psycho to make a mistake for Talleyrand to take the win. And it's, 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 Talleyrand looked in control of this race for a majority of it. Same story as the Group 3 cars, really, with Bandit. Bandit and Talleyrand will have to go for a drink after the race to commiserate. And uh, Matt Psycho then, fuel flashing. Tires virtually red. Comes around. I was going to say to start his final lap, but he's got a way to go yet. And uh, Talleyrand's broke it under the three seconds. Have a look at Homesick. He's maintaining that 5.3 ahead of Bandit. Bandit's tires getting to the end of their life now. I don't think he's got the grip levels to go on the attack with the alien. Two and a half seconds from Talleyrand to Matt Psycho. Matt Psycho just going to cross the line, start the final lap. Here we go. It's all down to this. Two and a half seconds. Talleyrand is catching him hand over fist every corner. Matt Psycho is going to be giving big chunks of time away as he goes on his merry way. 2.3 seconds through another corner that I'm sure Matt Psycho is losing a ton of time over. He does 2.2 seconds, 2.1 seconds. Talleyrand is pushing on. And Matt Psycho feeling the pain of no grip in those tyres into the heavy braking zones. Praying that his car is going to touch the apex. 1.9 seconds. There's group three cars up ahead as well. That is not what Matt Psycho needs, but he's going to hit him on the oval, which is great for him they're easier to overtake and there he goes there goes jim 1.6 seconds 1.5 seconds we're over halfway through the lap though and it's looking very good for matt psycho maybe a little a little bit of a cold sweat on with Talleyrand's attack near the end but it seems as they go through the bus stop and this is all it is it's the final turn he's got to get around Talleyrand's got it down to 1.2 seconds and uh, but all Matt Psycho has to do is hold his accelerator to the ground and steer the car towards the checkered flag to take the ninth endurance race win congratulations Talleyrand gets second and Daz has got some way Oh, there's going to be someone crossing the line. There we go. We catch Jim picking off in fourth place. Who's next? There's a car coming around. Sorry, it's going to do that. There we go. Here we go. We've got Daz coming around the final corner to take third position, the final podium position. Take a boo, my son. Who's next then? Sorry, it's not a great way to follow a race. It's a Jokas in fourth, coming up towards the line. No, fifth, sorry. Jokas is in fifth. He finishes fifth in the Group 3 category behind Jim. And ahead of Skyjacker. Who's next? Come on. Who's that? That was it. It's Big Dan in his Nissan. Gets sixth place. Now there's a whole host of cars. It's C-Reese getting himself eighth spot. Ah! Oh, missed it. There you go. Homesick takes the win. Bandit, you poor soul, gets second place. Oh, poor Bandit. Great for Homesick, bless, but Bandit, oh, he put everything into that one. Someone else is crossing the line. Is it Pat? No? Missed it. 
I think it was Baza or Racer Brown. So Groot, for the Group 3 cars, comes up to take the final podium position. Take a boo, my son. Ooh, penalty. Penalty. He knows you're not meant to skid it over the line. So they're the finishing positions. Matt Psycho takes the win in the Group uh, 1 category. Homesick Alien takes the win in Group th 2. Group 3s. And that is Matt Psycho's backside, ladies and gentlemen. Admire it. It just won a two and a half hour race by surprise. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable racing. And uh, I was going to try and chat. Oh. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that was it. That was a great race. Uh, it's just we don't usually hang around too long after. Um... Oh, Bandit's left the room, bless him. But I think it's because he's got to go off and have another race with someone. So I don't think it's like, oh, I'm angry, I'm leaving. And uh, so great drive. Great drive from Matt Psycho. Didn't expect it. Thought, um, I thought that was going to be Talleran's all the way. So, yeah, Talleran's left as well. And Homesick Alien getting that win off of Bandit. Uh, I think I tried to invite, I think I did it clumsily. I don't know what I'm doing. I was going to have a quick word with Matt Psycho, but I don't think it worked. And that was your two and a half hour race. I'll have a look at the chat. Here we go. Matt Psycho saying OMG. Sierra and Reese saying shouldn't have touched the hards. They were so slow. Yes, man. Matt Psycho saying what a race, Talleyrand. Pat saying I've had better days, but was still a good race. Started 11th, finished 13th. Mama Homesick saying well done, Homesick and Thingy. You were brilliant, keeping it all going for two and a half hours. It didn't feel like it halfway through there. I thought I was uh, putting everyone to sleep. I had to go outside and get some fresh air. Pat saying, might have started with a plan A. Not sure what better a plan I finished with. Matt Psycho saying, hang on, thingy. And Homesick Alien saying, well done, everyone. Hello, Matt Psycho. Well done on the win. Oh, thank you. I think that I need work, to apologise to at least one group three. I think I spun one coming up the banking. It's, oh, uh, no. but, I'm oh, sure you'll hear God. about it what in Discord. Race. Yeah, I'm sure we'll. What a race. So when did you think I can do it? <laughs> Probably 10 laps from the end. <laughs> it, was, it came to surprises me. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't really... It, was it the long stints? Because you were doing longer stints than, than Talleyrand. Do you think that... Do you think the mediums helped at the beginning? You kind of missed a whole pit stop out at the very first stint, didn't you? But then after, I think, Talleran's second stop, he came out in front. Yeah, And we were effectively yeah. both on soft, so I was thinking, oh, no, he can just, you know, do the same strategy that I'm, I'm done for. But, yeah, he kept doing short, the short stints. Yeah, he was putting, like, half tanks the end, in. Absolutely knackered. No, I saw that. It was from nine seconds down to 1.2 seconds crossing the line, wasn't it, or something yeah, like that? You catch, you catch someone in the bus stop, and you lose a second, second half, and every lap, last 10 laps, I was catching someone at the bus stop. I was going, no, just watching the lap, the time come down. I know. And oh, it's the same story incredible. in the Group 3s. I don't know, and you, obviously you're not aware of what's going on, but Bandit led for a majority of that race, and Homesick did a similar thing to Talleyrand, I think, just topped up a bit more fuel than Bandit did each pit, pit stop, and ended up ahead of Bandit and taking the win in the Group 3 category. Yeah, but I was Bandit. watching the, the leaderboard, and yeah, because me and Daz were on the chat, and yeah, Bandit was like doing really well. I mean, I, I turned the um, names off above the cars, so I don't mm. actually, I think Sky is the only one that I actually can recognise. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise I'm not sure who it is, but uh, yeah, no, they looked like it's a great battle for Group 3. What was it like to commentate on for such a long race? It was okay. I was dipping in the middle there, but I think that was just me having like a long working week rather than the race itself. The group C's were, but they didn't space out because Racer Brown and Bazza were quite close. 
for a, a, a while, but the pit stops kind of messed their race up. And uh, and then you and Talleyrand were always in touching distance, and Daz was staying with you for a good par- par- portion of the race because he was on a similar pit strategy as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, that was yeah. good. And the, the group threes, there was a couple of them staying fighting fighting distance. So, yeah, it was interesting all the way to the end. And Did it you, looked beautiful. I don't know if you, you probably didn't catch it. There was one point, though, quite near the end, that I had three group threes in front of me, and I had to go through under one and then through the middle of the other two. <laughs> we tired and catch him. It's like, it's not what I, I did need. see you. I saw you come across a crowd, and they, but every time I kept seeing a bunch of cars, I was trying to find them, and they were all on different laps, even the Group 3 cars. I think, like right. Pat, okay. I think what you right. saw was a uh, homesick Skyjacker and Pat, and they were all on different laps. Oh, <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> yeah. That was the hardest one I've ever done. But yeah, it, was, it looked uh, like a great race. It was a surprise uh, ending. Didn't it's really good. The, the weather, the, the time transition's amazing. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it was uh, nice I got the, the setting spot on there. It's uh, as it gets darker then, because at one point the um, probably about thirty laps from the end when the sun was coming up, you couldn't see the entry, the bus stop. I did wonder that because I tried to get on car, but I missed it because it looked like yeah, the, the no, sun was really, really reflected on the spot windscreen. Entry. Nice. Couple of, yeah, grassy rides going through there. But uh, no, that was awesome. That was, I think, probably the best um, enduro we've done. What's, what's, as winner, you should pick the next track. Although I know what you're going to say anyway, so it's pointless. I think we should do these at Nürburgring. Neuschleifer. Oh, yeah, yeah. What a surprise. <laughs> no one will sign up to that, Matt, except for you. Well, I, I, the, um, I had TC on one. I don't know what Talleyrand was running. Um, but actually, it wasn't too bad. I don't think I made any sort of major mistakes or anything. The, the back no. end's actually a bit more controllable when the traction control's on. I was really surprised, so, except for right at the very beginning of the race where I think Racer Brown didn't get the break in right for turn one and Ensign Newitt ploughed into the back of him. I didn't see anything really else. No one make big mistakes, especially in the Group C cars. I thought you guys were going to be off all the time. Yeah, no, it was really impressive. But, uh, I, I, I saw that our beast died on hard. <laughs> Which was probably yeah, yeah that's probably why he got his braking wrong yes. in turn one <laughs> he had to Cold stop the car too. virtually and he doesn't know the porsche that well so and poor old ensign i think was oh, expecting no, him top, just top to man go for joining in with zero practice so. oh yeah no oh, yeah, I, don't got... know, I don't know henson um handled that nissan on the i think he's on still on the pad did not he yeah yeah he's on a yeah, pad and, and it didn't look like he got that. it handled every <laughs> he was playing lap bingo every time i looked at his laps it was a different lap time so yeah I don't think he got on top of the Nissan at all, but I don't well, think he meant thanks, to, Thanks for uh, hosting it and commentating. Well, like, commentating. This is all, all homesick alien. I just turn up. I'm just a gob on a stick. I just say what I see. But I couldn't take any credit for that. That's all homesick. He did an amazing job. Yeah, no, he did. That's, uh, that's, I think that's a good good start to GT7 2.5s. All right, and what's that now? That's two. That's three wins in the Endurance Series. That means you probably want championship in it if it was a championship. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, Pen- pending any stewards' inquiries, but yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 don't like, know. I like the long ones. It's, it's uh, sometimes you go a bit stir crazy in the middle. This one wasn't too bad. It's this is a nice track because you you can relax a bit. Well, it's, it must uh, have been more interesting than our, our usual endurances because the actual times of day was changing. Yeah, no, it's so great. it was it was forever changing, I suppose, throughout the race. So it wasn't yeah, like you said, brilliant. you get to a corner and it's not the same because the sun's in. Oh yeah, no, I, I, like that, as so. the um, as the sun was coming up, that the I kept missing. I don't know what other people were like. I kept missing the apex of turn one because it was like the track was really cold. And it yeah. just wasn't stopping, um, and the wind changes direction as well, which doesn't help. But to Do know, you know what? I didn't that, even, was, that was really really good. I didn't give the wind a thought. I didn't look at the little arrow at all during that race. Yeah, I'm no, still getting used to GT7. I'm still getting used to all of this. It's, I'm no, still I've been new. On it nine ten months now. So yeah, no. no excuse. Oh, there's loads of chat. Hang on, let me catch up with some of this chat. You can may as well stay with me for the chat, and then I'll get a shot of you. <laughs> so uh, homesick alien says, "Well done, everyone." Homesick alien said, "Can't wait to see P1 battle." Homesick Alien says, great race with Bandit and especially Groot. Baza says, what was that? I beat RB. Did he? I thought, yeah, no, I don't know. 
Skyjack is saying, no, 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 Matt and his silly track ideas. <laughs> Homesick Alien saying, come Sky on, Baza. Skyjacker secretly loves Nordschleifer. I, I think he really does. He likes Nürburgring, so I wouldn't but, be surprised. No, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, for Sky, why don't we do the 24-hour layout so you can have the GP track as well. There we go. Yeah. He can just stay on the GP bit. He can just break and wait for everyone to come around and then go around that. <laughs> so Bandit said, braked slightly too late. All oh, right, I think that's how Homesick did it. Baza saying, what's it with me and an oval? Pretty pleased with myself in a humble way. Oh, Baza's right singing his own praises in there. Bandit saying... On the second curb, I shifted in third. Then your car goes with that speed. Hello, barrier. Oh, he had an off. I didn't see the off. The perfect race screwed by a dumb action. Home scaling saying, bandit, unlucky mate. Great race or great pace. Baza saying, same buzz as jumping out of a plane. Weird. Pat saying, the time of day changes made this race really nice to be part of. And Bandit saying, fastest lap was a 144.10 with the Mustang. Yeah, I think you were the fastest man, Bandit. I didn't see anyone else get that low. Who got the fastest lap in the Group Cs? Was it you and Tyrone? Tyrone, no, Tyrone it, did 28.4, I think. He's cheeky, isn't he? Ridiculously quick, yeah. <laughs> that was very, very quick. Cool. Well, congratulations. Enjoy Thank the you. champagne and uh, all of the podium and everything that brings with it. And I've got to try and find a way of getting rid of you. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Cheers, buddy. That's all right. Thanks is, everyone uh, for watching. Is there anything you want to say to your fans? Thank you for watching, as ever. That's it. I'll cut him off. <laughs> all right, then, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Um, thank you for joining us. If you stuck with us for the whole race, super stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. It was great stuff. Great racing. I was your broadcaster and your commentator, Phil Myanus. I've had a very pleasant time. Thank you for joining us here. And uh, all there's left to say is next week's racing is as it always is. It'll be there. Just keep an eye out for us. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe. Do all of that other stuff that YouTube gets very, very excited about. And I will see you the next time we race. Be good to people. Be good to yourselves. Peace and love. Peace and love. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore.